Hello. Where's my model? It's opening. Bah! There we go. I exist. I don't have the chat on my screen. How is everyone doing? How's life? Hello, hello. There we go. Is the music too loud? Last time my music is too loud, I think. Life is rough at the moment. It's okay, just listen to Jojo Siwa. You know, if you're feeling down, just look at Jojo Siwa's video and see uh, what you didn't become. <laughs> but how how is how how was life? We are chilling. We have some shiny hunts to do. We have um, a new hunt for Haulucha, our next team member after Tyrant. Um, I actually already phased. <laughs> I phased. <laughs> I faced like a couple of days ago, like last week actually, um, in my own time, I was uh, at my sister's place, shiny hunting, as you do, and then I got I got a shiny sigilif at 113 encounters. <laughs> so I I kind of showed a sigilif on the top screen. But I was doing some encounters off screen and I and I and I ended up getting a a sigilif, a shiny sigilif. There it is. Thank god we are high level because sigilif in this route knows whirlwind. So if you're hunting in this route, make sure you have a Pokemon that's high level. Because Whirlwind won't work on higher level Pokemon. Also, I don't know why it's so reflective today, but whatever. Talking to relatives now, nah, shiny hunting for the win. I was uh, shiny hunting wa while watch we were watching um, Dungeon Meshi. I also did some off screen hunting. So that's why um, our numbers are, are a bit more, you know, just in case, just in case it wants to shine off screen, but no, Osha wants a beat and doesn't want to shine off screen, you know, so Osha what is at 25,177 and our shield encounters are over a thousand as well. And I just hit a thousand the last time I hunted this Haulucha. Oh shit, that's right. But yeah, definitely wasn't playing Yakuza 7 just now, I swear. <laughs> So, I was playing Yakuza 7 just now. <laughs> and uh, I think I might have accidentally overleveled myself in the game. Um, so, let me... Let me take out the stylus, actually. The run button is too far into the screen. But yeah, I might have overleveled myself by accident. Um, in 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 uh, Yakuza Seven. Last time on last stream with Yakuza Seven, I was level. I just hit like level 23, twenty three, twenty three ish, on our characters, and we were grinding our new character as well. Uh, I'm now level thirty. <laughs> uh, it was an accident, I swear. 
the world is ending and I didn't pay my taxes. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We are shiny hunting some little dudes. Why is this one so cut off? We are shiny hunting Haulucha for our dream team. We're hunting some random shit in the forest and we're hunting for we're going for this osha ward of course which will shine first is the real question i should put the pole instead of this let me make a pole which shines first glim with Tangle. I guess I should put the game. Shield. White 2. Maybe I put a Pokemon. <laughs> Random. Shield. Osha what? White too. How lucha. Why? Oh, you can put a pin message in. I didn't realize you can pin a message and or whatever. It's been a while since I watched. Uh, where's my stylus? Where my stylus go? Oh. It's been a while since I watched one of your streams. The last one was hunting for Finion. Oh, that was a while. That was. That was like two years ago at this point. <laughs> I got the finny on long ago. I got the finny on like. But yeah, we already we already beat the game. <laughs> Don't worry, we we already have the finny on. Finny on is no longer a, a problem. The problem now is um, Osha what? Finion is no longer an issue. I feel like you've been here past after the Finion as well because I feel like I've seen that message before. I feel like I've seen someone say the exact same thing. But perhaps that was a different human. Indeed, Shino, you so bad. Yeah, I think just because it's such a bright color in this game compared to. I feel like the color is more obvious in maybe it's a forest lighting, <laughs> but the ears should be the ear fluff should be different color. We yeah, have was a while ago. We already got the Finion. And we even got our last team member and we got four legendaries in the game now, so we already beat the game. BDSP. I just recorded the a little bit for the the shiny reaction video for the Lake Trio that I'm hoping to finish by this weekend. I just need to edit it really. I already finished all my recording. I just need to get footage, some b-roll. And record. No, and edit. Maybe they'll they maybe they'll be done this week this week. 
Did I count this Morgrim? I don't know. Indeedy will be a cool shiny though. I do want Indeedy. Indeedy is 5% in this forest. If something shined in the forest, what should shine first? <clears throat> we don't want Oranguru or Phantom. We want Indeedy, Ponyta, and like the authentic Sinistee. Which I don't have. I have the authentic Sinistra in Scarlet and Violet, but... It's not as special as in Sword and Shield, you know? Authentic Sinistry is so much more cooler in Sword and Shield. It's not as cool in Scarlet and Violet. The random 1% <laughs> encounter is better. <sighs> and in Scarlet and Violet, you can get outbreaks of the antique one, so where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in Scarlet and Violet? I kind of hope, but also they probably will keep outbreaks for the next generation of games. Um, I don't really want outbreaks, I don't really care for it. But that's just me. But I'm sure they'll bring it back to do more of those event, event outbreaks. Yo, Ark. How's life? How you doing? We are hunting. Many things today. Also, let me know if the music's too loud. Last time, my music was a bit too loud. Nobody said anything. Wait, we're hunting how Lucha now. I already phased on how Lucha like off screen in my own time. I got a shiny sigilith um, while I was somewhere else. So we're hoping to get. How Lucha? How Lucha is 20% in the grass, by the way. <laughs> it's not the most common thing. Um I'm not sure if Sigilif is also 20% or it's slightly more. But how Lucha is basically one of the more common things in the grass. I don't know what's this about X and Y. X and Y has like 50 things in the grass patches. Like one route has like five different, like ten different spawns. We're backing up for the Japan trip. All right, when's that? Is this month, right? When, when, when the hell? Oh, we, I mean, it's better to go now. Japan currency is ass. You can buy so many things. Hey, buy me something. Just kidding. <laughs> Twenty percent too. Perfect! <laughs> um, I know... Um, I think Imolga is like 5% maybe. This week, flying off Saturday night. Oh damn! Goodbye, Ark. We'll never see you again. <laughs> it's gonna get stuck in Japan. Maybe it's because my shirt today is very bright. Maybe <laughs> that's why you can see it in the fucking... Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wait, are you going to the Pokemon Center? I should go. Man. The only thing I regret about when I went to the Pokemon Center, it was is it was before, right before, Sun and Moon came out. 
was when I was in Japan to Pokemon Center. And we already knew about Sun and Moon. <laughs> we all knew about Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon was already, the trailer already came out. But we couldn't buy any shit because the game didn't come out yet. We went too early. <laughs> So nobody could buy fucking Sun and Moon much. You plan to visit a Poké Center to get something? Nice. Can you find my shiny Oshawa there? <laughs> because this fucking Oshawa doesn't want to shine. Maybe, maybe it's in Japan. Where Eevee, Eevee's probably like... 2% or something? Oh, there's Eevee. Never mind. <laughs> Eevee's probably like 5% too. I don't even know, man. Eevee's 5%. Simolga, 10%. Oh, snubbles in this grass too. What the fuck? Why is there so many things in the grass? Emolga's probably the rarest thing. I, I never- I rarely see Emolga in the grass. I've seen Eevee a couple times. Emolga I don't- I feel like I don't see as much. Emolga's also five. Two female Osha one in a row. I forgot about the horn encounters. See why is no spas here? Why no spas go be here? It don't need to be here. I've also played... So... We got Anorith last time. Our last shiny was Anorith. So I played the games up till my next team members. Or like my next shiny hunts. So that's why we're doing Halucha now for Y. And I thought I was... I thought I was gonna be able to play a lot of Omega Ruby in... Um, for our next team member, which is Bayonet, which is all the way at Mount Pyre. And then while I was, while I was playing, I, I remembered there's one shiny hunt. There's one horrendous shiny hunt we have to do before we can go to our last team member. And it's the Steven Latios hunt. And then I looked at my game and I wanted to uh, throw it out the window. <laughs> Mr. Wahi, you somehow encountered four shinies yesterday in Scarlet and Violet. Damn! Two of them despawned because of the Synchro Machine. Oh, you were using the Synchro Machine and they shined? No, not the Steven Reset. Yup! Good luck! To me? I'm not, I'm not even gonna touch it yet. There's only one thing actually no I'm not confused about it. I think I think it's confirmed that you don't have to save before you talk to Steven. You save before you go into the foresting area. I think so. What shinies did you get? What shinies were they? Yeah, Mr. Wahi. I haven't opened Scarlet and Violet in like forever. Which, if y'all don't know the Steven reset, that's a, like a four minute reset. <laughs> it's worse than the Sun and Moon. Not really, actually. Now that I think about it. I believe you only have to save outside before you enter the battle, not before talking to Steven. Before talking to Steven takes longer, 
But I believe you do just have to save outside before you enter the double battle. I've already tested it out. My Swampert can easily one-shot the double battle. I just had to turn off animations to make it faster. Um, I didn't time how long it is. <laughs> but it's gonna be a bit long. And I'm not gonna touch it. I probably won't touch Omega Ruby for like 3 months, 6 months. The one you found were Raihorn, Do Duo, Execute and Trap Inch. Oh, you're running in the savannah. You managed to catch the later two though? That's good. Congrats on the shinies. Yeah, Scarlet Violet shinies can be a bit crazy. I never seen a shiny while I was doing Synchro Machine yet. And I don't plan to find one. Trapinch is a cool shiny to find though. Oops. Trapinch is on your Dream Team Quest Auras team. Hell yeah. It's a good shiny. Why is that Yarma in the fucking grass? Forget about Yarma. I mean, cool shiny, but. <laughs> Why is there so many things? Why is X and Y like this? But there's so many things in the grass. I was thinking to of changing my last team member instead of Dragalge and changing it to Klefki, maybe. Cause I realized that Tyrant is a dragon type <laughs> and so is Dragalge. So I might change to... Well, but Klefki's steel type, never mind. See, X and Y is hard because there's so little Pokemon. Oh shit, that Emoga shine out the fuck out of me. Because it's not like jet black. Rin, what's up Rin? We are just having a chill shiny hunting session. I got shine out. Typical day, typical shiny hunting day. Uh, you also remember finding random shiny crabominable? Ooh. That's a cool shiny, even though the design is... You're right, I don't know what you could use. Wait, for what? What did I say? I forgot what I said. <laughs> I think the Wii music is making my brain also, brain cells also die. Oh, in the team. Yeah. Because I, I like to have ev all my Pokemon in the team have different typings. Um, but if I really have no choice, then that's fine. X and Y, just, and I, I've been trying to stick to Pokemon from that generation. The only exception will be our Platinum team. But... X and Y is so limited, I might make an exception for it too. There's less than a- there's not- there's barely any new Pokemon in this game. If I could have picked Claw, it's uh, I would've. But um, it's a X exclusive. I believe. 64 new Pokemon? Yeah, what the, yeah, what the hell? And it's like, it's all evolutions and stuff, so technically there's only like 10 new lines. Just kidding. <laughs> so we could just, we could just use either Dragalge or Klefki, I guess. 
even though they're the same typing. You're half listening, trying, trying to figure out where you're going. Like in real life, or like in a game. So, my 3DS volume is broken. I adjusted the tape so that it's softer. <laughs> because I, I, I adjusted the tape on the speakers to, to make it a bit softer. But when I was hunting at, at my sister's house the other day, how Lucha screams, so I had Brakeson at the front, and Brakeson also screams very loud. How Lucha screams so loud, I didn't need Brakeson to scream also. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt the dungeon meshy watch along. <laughs> but yeah, I watched like a couple episodes of um, Dungeon Meshi, Delicious Dungeon, whatever it's called in English. Um, it was okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Eh. Remember, uh, oh, Skyrim. Have fun in Skyrim. But yeah, I finally watched Dungeon Meshi, the, the current trendy anime. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Not my thing, but. Uh, I was already a little bored a few, by the few episodes we watched. By the time a few episodes passed by. I honestly barely remember any of it. Hi Vic! How you doing? My day's doing- my day's good! Today- today I did- I did some recording, I did some some stuff and I played some games and, and now I'm here playing more games <laughs> but yeah today we're just vibing make sure to watch our new Fakemon video if you haven't um, it's 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 almost reaching a thousand views which is uh, really cool very cool um, I was afraid that people would forget that the series existed and wouldn't watch it. So I'm surprised that people actually bothered to watch the new episode. <laughs> Your day sunshine and snow is starting to melt. Man, I want some snow. It's been so hot. It did rain today finally after 50 years. But the weather's been so what sprang series. So our, we have a Pokemon Fakemon series called Pokemon Entity on our channel and a new episode I uploaded a new video last week. Last weekend. Thankfully people watch because I haven't updated on that series in a couple months. You only heard the views. It's, it's Pokemon Entity, my my video. I'm talking about my video. My new video. Well, it's it's almost at a thousand view. And we also recently passed 900 subscribers, which I haven't changed on the layout yet. Let me do that. So the thing would let me. Happy when it rained for real. Uh, let's see. We are we 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 are also almost at the three thousand watch hours, which we need to monetization. So almost, y'all. Is it what 903? Oh that means we hit the goal for this one. Let's change that to like 950. There. Good 
But yeah, we can almost monetize the channel. Then I really can't play copyrighted music. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> you're shiny hunting too, you don't have to call it shiny hunt trade. Oh, you're doing the let's go Eevee shiny hunting? I, yeah, I mean, I, it's a shiny hunt. It's a tr I would say, yeah, a trade hunt, I would call it that. I love those hunts, though. I honestly wish I could do more. I, I haven't done the Alolan Raichu one, actually, so I could do that one. I did the Executor one, Alolan Vulpix, and Alolan Meowth. I don't know if- I think I was preparing to do the Marowak one, but I, did, I, did, I didn't do, end up doing it. I love those hunts. Those hunts are sick as hell. They need to do more of those. Especially now that there's so many forms now, they need to do more of those like trade hunts. Those are very fun hunts to do. It's very fun to see the shiny pass through the trade. I do, the only one I remember really is the, I got Executor, the Alolan Executor on Valentine's Day. Yeah, we need, we need 30 more watch hours <laughs> before I can apply for the monetization. The YouTube partner program. And then, if if that approves, y'all, we can have memberships and the super chats and all that shit. You know? <laughs> Just to have it there. That that's what the monetization will mean. You think Marowak and Alolan Raichu is hard to shiny hunt? Can only hunt them in Dynamax Adventure and trade them in Let's Go. I mean, if it if not counting sun and moon, cause sun and moon you can you can get them. You can just hunt a Pikachu and cube on there. But like, if you mean like the f evolve, the evolution, yeah. Cause like Alola Executor now is in like Scarlet and Violet fully evolved. There's not many more watch hours to go. Super nerd, yeah. Just a, just a, just a little bit more, and we can, we can try the thing. It's the evolution. That's 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 fair. Wait, what about a lowland ratata? Those don't even exist anymore. Remember when Snubble died in the movie? <laughs> I can't believe they killed Snubble <laughs> in a fire. <laughs> can't believe they would do that. We have our phase one for how lucha was at 113 encounters very very short hunt so i'm expecting to go over odds honestly for this second phase and i'm not expecting the how lucha to be the thing that shines <laughs> i am i am one of the ma phasing masters okay 
If I get something in the Glimwood Tangle, I'll probably try and go back to Sizzly Pete. You said for Alolan Rattata and Marowak because it can it's not in Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to put it in every game. Hopefully, maybe they'll come back in the next game or something. I can see an Alolan Rattata appearing in Legend Za. No? Legend ZA. But yeah, I probably won't hunt in Scarlet and Violet much anymore. I want some of these old hunts. Especially now that in um in BDSP I can hunt the Regis. I can start hunting the legendaries there. Ponita! Why you look shiny every day? Is Legend Z A a remake of X and Y? It's a Pokemon Legends game of Kalos. It's like how Legends Arceus is not a remake or a sequel. It's a it's a it's a Legends new game set in the Sinnoh region with a different name. So we don't know much about Legends ZA, but it will it will be set in Kalos, which is where Generation Six is set. It's not a remake, though. Waiting for you to pronounce BDS P. My favorite game. But yeah, it's not a remake. If they, I don't think. I honestly, I hope they don't remake it. They, they don't need to remake it. They don't need to remake Gen Five B and Beyond yet. Z is a prequel? Probably? Question mark. Maybe? I believe so. Maybe, but it's not... You know, there's, there's, there's a chance that it's not. But maybe it probably is. It's probably about them. I would imagine it's set in, in, the, in the Industrial Revolution French era. Where like new, new buildings and stuff. Wonder if Mega Evolutions will be in ZA? Oh, they will. They basically said, "Don't worry, let, uh, Megas are coming back." <laughs> Just basically what is this? They already put the Mega symbols everywhere. Um. I can I can probably I can they probably have new ones too, a bagel Pokemon. I don't know if they have new Pokemon. They might they might have a new legendary, because they they introduced Enamorous in Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is a brand new design, brand new Pokemon. So they might have a new legendary. I wouldn't be surprised honestly. But they, I I can imagine them making new forms and new Mega evolutions. They have to. It would be it would be dumb of them to not make new mega evolutions. Like take advantage of the what the fans are, are, are crazy for, you know. And if somebody in that meeting room said let's not make any mega evolutions, like check them out the window, you know. But that's a dumb idea. Dumb suggestion of if, if somebody did that in the meeting room. <laughs> Hope we see new Meg uh, Eevee. I don't think they'll add new Eevees anymore. I think Eevee's dead. I think Eevee's gone. I don't think they need to add more Eevees. I'm sick of Eevee. I'm sick of them Eeveelutions. We don't need any more. There's 10,000 of them. Just kidding. 
if if they really wanted to, they should just make one of every type at this point. But I don't know. I don't think I don't think we need to. But I wouldn't be I wouldn't be opposed or surprised if this Legend ZA game introduces a Mega Sylveon. Just cause only one evolution only one evolution gets a Mega. <laughs> When's the Dragon Eevee? Eh, never. Maybe it'll be in this game. Since it's set in like I don't know when it's set. It looks like it's set in like Victorian area or something. I don't really want a new evolution. But if they have one, uh cool. I wouldn't mind it. It probably would not be on the team though. On my team. You know this Galarian Ponyta almost looks like Sweetie Belle from My Little Pony. Is that one of the is that one of the children? <laughs> Cause they have children, right? I don't know, actually, I don't remember. I don't remember which one is Sweetie Belle. Oops. What are the children? Oh, Rarity Sister. Oh. Oh, the regular form? As in, like, Galarian Ponyta's regular colors? I think I know. I think I remember. I watched, like, one and a half season of the new version. I don't know why I watched it, to be honest. Maybe because it was trendy. Shinies are a rarity, for real. But maybe we'll get one. We've gotten them before! I really want just that Osha Watt to get out of my life. No, I don't want the hot encounters. Nothing in the hearts at Chinese that I want. I really want the Indeedy though. In the forest. I also I binge watched the second season of Invincible recently. It's pretty good. Pretty good. A uh, rough ending though to end for the next few years. It's a sad ending to end and never see the next season for like five years. <sighs> so it was it's good though. I enjoyed season one. Um there's only one thing that I kinda don't like is I, I don't I don't ship it. I don't ship um I don't ship Mark and Ed of Eve. I just don't. I don't ship it. I really hope they don't end up together. <laughs> I really hope they don't do that. That would suck. I don't like Adam Eve at all. I hate characters like her. <laughs> characters like her are like ugh. She's like Jean Grey! <laughs> she she's so Jean Grey coded. I hate it. 
Maybe just because her face looks like Jane Grey. Or her hair. I don't know. I hate Jane Grey too. I'm sick of I'm sick of them. I'm also not a, a fan of well this I, I'm breaking up with the girlfriend that's that that has really good chemistry with me so let me go to the other girl that has some chemistry maybe I guess and then they end up together I hate that <laughs> Let's let's hope. I don't know. The show clearly doesn't follow any comic, so let's hope they don't end up together. What else did I do recently? Um, I saw the Jojo Siwa song. <laughs> you guys should watch the Jojo Siwa song. And then watch the original version. Oh, this Osha Ward will be 25,200. Will it be shiny? Will this Osha Ward finally let me go? Osha Ward so cl such a so clingy. What a clingy Pokemon. Do not shine and let me go from this. Maybe Bianca's the clingy one. Do not give me the shiny so that I can stay in this loop with her forever. Maybe Bianca's just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica, you know? Just Bianca. Also, if if, if y'all like DDLC, Doki Doki Literature Club, what do you guys think of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus? I feel like it's such a scam. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. What a fucking boo bullshit. Like gave us that instead of an actual game. If the cup shines, both me and the text box are covering the fucking shiny. Also changed 
Oh, my Yakuza fighting style in the game. We were originally in the hero class. Now I've changed it to breaker dan breaker class, which is a dan break dancer. <laughs> so next time we play next time we play Yakuza 7, um, you will all see Ichiban dancing around like an idiot. Just like Majima. Yeah, Scarlet, you still have history and vault up outbreaks. Oh, they did that like an event. You planning to shiny hunt it? Oh, good luck. Good luck on the hunt. I didn't even know that was a thing they, they were doing. History and vault up. I wish history. I mean, it's like I wish history and electro was more interesting looking, but also like what else could it look like? <laughs> it's an electrode. So it's just a ball. So it's like, it, I mean, cool. I think the vault top looks so much better than electrode. Yo, Oranguru, get the hell, go away. Yeah, good luck on the, on the vault top. It's a good shiny. Wait, I don't I don't pay too much attention to what events that they're doing in the outbreaks. I never breakdance fighting style is neat. You can't tell if someone's gonna punch and kick and they break dance. That was me during Yakuza Zero, because in Yakuza Zero you can actually you, um, Majima has like Majima has three different fighting styles and one of it is breaker style, which is him breakdancing and it's crazy. Even I can predict what's gonna happen, and I'm the one playing the game. <laughs> I can predict his moves, but the dan the, the the breaker role in the Yakuza Seven in this turn-based one is pretty funny too. I'm already higher rank on that than my regular my original class. I'm also level thirty now in my game in that game. <laughs> I kind of. Accidentally over leveled myself. I think. I think I'm over leveled. So I'm not gonna play it off screen right now or like later. Because I went into the dungeon, which is like the underground dungeon that we discovered last stream. And people use, use it for grinding. I didn't realize the grinding would be that fast. And I made it through the whole dungeon. <laughs> And I fought this one enemy. Like the other enemies gave me a little bit of experience, not even a thousand. I fought this one enemy class called the Invested Vagabond. And it's, it's like it was level 35 compared to my level 20, 24 or something. And every every hit I did only did one damage. So one punch would be one damage. But when I beat the dude, the dude gave me like 80,000 experience points. So I would level up like two levels each one. So that's how I got to level 30. Because I fought two of those and each one leveled me up twice. Plus the other shit in the dungeon. And then at the end I fought this level 40 Roomba. <laughs> no, it was a coffee maker. I don't... I, I think it was a coffee. I don't I actually don't know. It was spewing out coffee, but it looked like a Roomba. You're still not done with your Scarlet? You didn't unlock Paradox Pokemon yet? So you ask people for anyone help you shiny hunt? You missed too? Oh wait, you haven't beat the game yet? Like beat the story? The moment you- wait, say, have you been in Area 0 yet? Once you go into Area Zero, you can shiny hunt the Paradox Pokemon.
You didn't beat Scarlet, you already beat Violet, so you can hunt Scarlet Paradox Pokemon from your Violet. Oh, you should just beat Scarlet. <laughs> It'll be easier than connecting to yourself on the and hoping that you see the shiny. Since the shiny hunting in the paradox hunting opposite game is so janky. You might as well you might as well just beat Scarlet and hunt like that. Hunt in Scarlet. Little high when it comes to Elite 4. Oh, you need to remember which gym you battle first and what type they are. What's your team that you're fighting the Elite 4 with? Are you like is it just cause like you're under level or something? You can you can just get the I mean you can use the let's go mode to grind levels. Almost 1500 on the Glimwood Tango. For having our target put as Galarian Ponyta, I don't see many Ponytas. I feel like I never notice when Ponytas on the screen. This Emolga, Emolga needs to look, the black on Emolga needs to be darker or something. I keep thinking it's shiny. Let me check a Scarlet team. That's all good. If you have a good fire type, the champion won't be difficult. The champion fight is easy with fire type Pokemon. That's basically her weakness. Skeledurge is playing it on easy mode. Oh no, did the music end? God damn it. Yeah, we can have our Bayonetta music now. <laughs> Do Oshawott in your ugly face. Remember when Oshawott came out and everybody called it ugly? <laughs> Remember when Paul Playo came out and people were calling it ugly? <laughs> Why do people hate the water type? <laughs> Is it their nose? 
I don't understand. I mean, oh sure what, I can understand why it's ugly, but... <laughs> Poplio? I don't think... I don't know how Poplio became ugly to people. Is it because it looks dumb? I don't understand. Like it looks like a stupid thing. <laughs> I don't get the Osha Ward. I mean, I don't get the Poplio hate. The Scarlet team is Arcanine, Scizor, Bergmite, Lilligan, and Quaxwell. Ooh, you should evolve your Quaxwell and Bergmite. Oh, Qu wait, so your Quaxwell hasn't evolved yet. Oh, I see. So you, yeah, it might be just your levels then. They're a good team though. You just gotta train. Is she not there from Gen 6 or 7? It's Gen 7. <laughs> you need your quirks, well, Duxketeer. <laughs> Duxketeer. I ate some duck the other day. It was pretty good. I ate at this uh, Chinese restaurant the other day, and their duck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah. The yeah was pretty nice. It's a roasted duck, delicioso. Roasted duck. That's right. I ate some. I ate roasted duck. And I ate, um, I also had, um, the shrimp egg omelette shit, and, um, some, like, fucking tofu. <laughs> I also tried, uh, lotus root for the first time. It was lotus root with some pumpkin shit. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Arakawa. <laughs> Super Mega Blue. How you doing? Okay, next time. We'll, next time we'll go back to our Yakuza Seven, which uh, I might. I, I was talking about it earlier, but I might have accidentally over leveled by going in the dungeon. <laughs> and I also changed Ichiban's um, job from hero to breaker because uh, it's so much more fun than the hero one is kitty gonna be in za we uh i don't know i have no idea i don't remember every pokemon that was in the trailer so skitty might have been in the trailer but it's safe to assume that any pokemon you saw in that legend za trailer will be in the game so stuff like Furfru, of course, and a bunch of a bunch of the Gen Six Pokemon. But like, I don't know if Skitty will be in there. Maybe Skitty is in Kalos, like in this game. But I don't know about Legends. And we probably no won't know for a while. I think the most the, the the soonest we'll get news on the game, like any updates, will be like June. 
like in during the Summer Games Fest, maybe. Which Summer Games Fest is in June? So they'll probably have a live stream that we'll watch with our uh, with our best friend Jeff, Jeff Kylie, my man's, <laughs> my man Jeff Kylie. Which is, uh, if you don't recognize the name, it's the guy that hosts the Game Awards. He also hosts Summer Games Fest. Summer Games Fest last year honestly was so much better than Game Awards. The Summer Games Fest was actually fun. But um, the Game Awards was ass. So... I'm looking forward to Summer Games Fest this year. I don't know what games they'll show. But exciting to we'll be watching whatever live stream they have. Whatever like show or like a uh, stage. Jeff is the goat, that's right. Jeff is the best. My name Jeff. Jeff Kylie, my man's No, not the horde. The horde is always scary because some of the Pokemon in the five Pokemon that's in the horde appear off screen. For me. Like they shine off screen. When you play Pokemon Omega Ruby, you're trying to hunt Eevee using Poke Radar? Ooh. The Skitty keep following and appear instead. That was me when I was hunting Flawdress in Pokemon Y. I was trying to get Flo uh, Flo uh, Baby, and I got two skitties. You never see Jeff in anything else except talking about games? Where does the man hide himself? <laughs> uh, just, he's probably too busy like organizing the, the, the events. Probably just hanging out, going to like meetings about games I guess. <laughs> I don't know. He's friends with a lot of developers, so... I guess he's just vibing. It's like how Ki Hideo Kojima is always at the movies. <laughs> it's like, when when is the the man... The man keeps going to the goddamn theater, the cinema, watching movies, instead of making games. <laughs> right now he's probably too busy. Jeff is probably too busy organizing. Um, and like making calls for Summer Games Fest, like making calls to like the the developers and what games they want to showcase and and what kind of marketing and all that preparing all the the event itself the event uh, area making sure that the presentations work making sure any special guests want to make appearances like how he got Nicolas Cage <laughs> to appear <laughs> the fuck uh, remember your first ever shiny was tentacle from ruby that's so cool I don't know how I never got shinies in ruby and I played that every single day of my life as a child and I never got shinies in that game, even though I played it so much. I only have one now just because we shiner hunted the starter.
Yeah, let me skip this song. So having church music. And I don't remember seeing anything sparkle or anything that was off color. So I don't think I missed the shiny without knowing what shiny when I when I didn't know what shiny is. Because I definitely noticed when I got my first shiny, but I don't know, but I didn't really know what shinies were at the time. I just thought it was weird that it sparkled. That you lost your shiny by making a new game. That's how I. That's what happened to mine. That's what happened to me. You know, back then Pokemon Bank didn't exist, and you know what? Now Pokemon Bank still not gonna work because they deleted the the, the, the 3DS era is dead. <laughs> but, but but I mean Pokemon Bank still works. They say, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened to my Chingling too. I I don't have the my original Chingling anymore because I wanted to play the game. I wanted to play the game again, so I had to reset the file. <laughs> so that that chingling is lost in the void. We could well, I can always hunt another one. Someday. You never use bank so it's gone forever. Yeah, I have bank. I only used it a little bit to transfer some Pokemon to home. Especially my Alola Pokemon, because I do wanna reset my Ultra Sun file at some point. I don't think I have anything important in my sun ultra sun file, but I'll double check before resetting it. Cause I wanna reset and start over and make a new team without no shiny charm, no fort. I mean no SOS or whatever. I want a fort's dream team there. I don't have to do that to my sun copy thankfully because I have an extra sun. But yeah. My ultra sun I don't mind resetting. My son though, oh, my Pokemon son, I gotta, I gotta keep that file. I'm gonna make a nostalgia team quest about video about it at some point. I haven't started the hunt yet, but I'll, I'll start making it soon. The second shiny is the oh the, the Wumpo? or the, the cocoon version. Silker. Um, you know, even shiny anything is random. That's so cool. Yeah, my first few shinies were all random. With first was the Chingling. My second random shiny was a Bagon in Alola. Alola was where I got a lot of random shinies. I had a random Absol. I had a random uh, Cottony, random that bag on. I got also a random Piggy Pack. So I got a Lola is where I got a lot of random shinies actually. Shiny up your full season, thank you. Hopefully it's that Oshawott. The amount of shinies I've gotten while this Oshawott has been on screen is crazy actually. 
I got Torchic while hunting it. I got I got the both the fossils while hunting it. I'm pretty sure I got other things like Wulu and stuff while hunting it. Too many shinies have appeared while this Osha Watt hasn't. Which uh, is fine, but I would like the Osha Watt to shine. Okay, good luck to anyone hunting and if you're, you're just having playing games, enjoy your games. You single handedly repopulated the Osha Watt population from the one you abandoned. <laughs> I'm just chucking all the non-shiny ones off the balcony. You guys can't see the upper screen, but if you're unaware about the game, um, this reset is taking place on like a balcony, like a like a like a rooftop. So I, I can just chuck this thing off the railing. I can chuck the girl, giving it to me too, the blonde girl. Which Pokemon do you think looks cute, and which shiny looks a little funny? Um, Bruxish, Bruxish shiny is awesome. It looks like a pizza. It's very funny. Osha was get murdered every time they're not shiny. What's up, Kaden? That's right. They deserve it. After twenty five thousand, they went from having one one starter to having twenty five thousand starters in in Unova. Well, how about that? Whether they alive, they live to see another day. Depends on how strong they are to survive the cliff that I'm chucking them over. <laughs> I'm pulling a ticket. Oh my god. Yeah, and then there's spikes underneath. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you mean like when I throw Kazuya? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. In the lava. I, 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 I would need to reset my brain on which count is it. Bianca is horrified with all the Oshawott bodies on the other side. Yeah, and guess what? She's making more of them die by not giving me the shiny one. The 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 Watt's blood is on her hands. If she gave me this Oshawott, I don't have to... I wouldn't have to do all that to these Oshawotts. All these poor Oshawotts here. This is on her! The blonde bitch with the glasses that y'all have to see every time. I've seen her 25,000 times. This is on her. This girl right here. The blood is on her hands. If this thing was shiny, I wouldn't have to do this. Chucks the whole thing off the, off the, off the rooftop. Bianca. I'm gonna chuck it, chuck it off the rooftop again. You better sh show the shiny. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. God damn it. Oh, almost 10 likes, thank you. Thank you all. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been checking Osha Watts off the roof for the last three years. I'm trying to get this shiny. I've checked a few tapics too. What more does she want? 
What do you, what more do you want from me? You know how much I sacrificed? She will all alive if she doesn't give you the shiny altar. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta riot on the streets. Where's this Oshawa? So you found a shiny Hornage? Yeah, that's my, that's my Hornage. <laughs> this, the, the, don't worry, this route, the route that we're hunting in doesn't have Hornage in it. Um, the Hornage, the shiny one that you see is mine. It's just so it's le- I put it at the front just cause it's less loud. It's- it's cry isn't loud. Um, uh, because break since one is like a scream. <laughs> so, it'll be really annoying to hear it over and over again. But Honage's cry is just a shing, but you barely hear it. So it's not as annoying to have it in front. Or shiny ending. Thankfully the shinies in this route, I believe all of them are pretty easy to spot. This Oshawa is the start of your villain arc. Joker 2 is coming out, and guess who's the Joker? Me! <laughs> My Joker era. Have you guys seen the trailer? I think a trailer came out or something? I didn't watch it. But... <laughs> I, I don't really care about the Joker movie, if I'm being real. Just cause like... You know... I didn't watch the first one. Any new shinies you missed? No, no new shinies. I mean, technically on this Haolucha hunt, I did face, but that, I wasn't streaming that one. That was all on my own time. I started the hunt at, 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 at my sister's house and I got a shiny there. Yeah. But this stream, or since the last stream, no new shinies. Since the last shinies. Yeah, Pokemon Red in you, the old days. I don't have my blue anymore. I had red and blue. But I don't have them anymore. I have yellow. For some reason. But I don't play them, really. I do have crystal on this 3DS. Um, I do want a shiny hunt in it, but the, the starter hunt is a bit tedious for me. I don't know why it's a bit draining. So that might be a hunt off screen or something. Maybe when I have other better encounter hunts.
You lost the ability to find Alpha Shiny Heracross? Uh, what do you mean? You never found one, but you have 5 Ponytas Rapidash and it threatens me that you have max odd on Heracross. You can still go for it. I believe you gotta keep trying. No matter how many phases it takes. <laughs> it's okay to take breaks, but you can always you can always just go back to it. Like someday. I wanted to hunt the shiny alpha hero cross, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to hunt that, but I don't mind hunting all this other shit. Me hunting this Osha Ward for nothing. Don't mind but why there's so many horses <laughs> just cause they're common i guess in that route in that in that in that area i guess plus the free one the free pony touch right here. This music is how I feel about this Osha Ward. I'm about to kill it! I'm about to strangle this Osha Ward with my own hands! My help! Every time Osho what dies, the game senses it by putting you back in the title screen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's 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 what the cut to black is. It's not all this. It's not the. It's not me resetting the game. It's the. It's it's like me getting censored.
This is good epic music. What is it? This is Bayonetta music. Um, this is the Fortitudo. It's one of the boss fight musics. I think Fortitudo is actually the first boss. This is a this is all Bayonetta soundtrack at the moment. Hopefully it's not too loud on the on the stream. You thought Bayonetta used jazzy music? It does have some jazzy music. There's like a bar in the game and like the theme songs are kinda funky but but the boss fights and stuff is a lot of orchestra and angelic sounding music because the game is about angels versus killing angels. <laughs> and the boss fights are all like those giant boss fights. It's pretty cool. I love Bayonetta. I love the series. If you ever get shiny from the three games, you can call it triple trouble shiny. If I get if there's ever a day I play three games and all three get a shiny at the same time, I think I'll I, I think I'll break it. I think I'll break the shiny hunting community. There's been people who've gotten two like they play two games at once and both games get a shiny at once. It's happened before. I've only seen it happen maybe once. Like in a full arts, like traditional old game, traditional shiny hunting game, it was a it was someone playing two Gen Five games and they got two pitfalls at the same time. It's crazy. That's the only time I've ever seen it happen. Get three shinies, you spend all your gacha luck, you have to run out. No, I need my gacha luck soon. There's a the game I play has an event in like a, this week or something. <laughs> and I need I need my favorite character. You know of a game called World of Warcraft? Yes, I am aware of World of Warcraft. I don't play it. I've never played it, but I am aware of it and I've seen gameplay. My gacha game, I have like I have like 200 rolls that I could do. <laughs> I really hope I don't have to use them all. My all of my um, rolls, though. I hope I can I can just use like half, maybe.
You love Nintendo Zelda Ocarina of Time? Sadly, you can't play it. Your controller's not working anymore? Oh no! I played it on the 3DS. I did Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. I did 100% it. But I also watched the playthrough while playing through it, so I did like a bunch of like secret shortcuts and stuff. It is on the Switch technically from the Nintendo Online expansion thing. Um, I don't really want to pay extra though just to get those games, cause you don't you if they're not in the base Nintendo Online, they're in the expansion, Nintendo Switch Online expansion, which is like the hell. Even the online service has a DLC. It's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna get the expansion anytime soon. Uh, Nintendo 64 Secret 8. There's a cutscene that Mario and Link meet in which game? I didn't know that. I haven't done an art stream in a while too, I realized. We'll do an art stream soon, I just don't know what to draw. <laughs> no, that's the only thing about art streams, I never know what to draw on stream. I don't know what I don't know what we should draw on stream. And like we could draw our Pokemon, but that is that it. I feel like I need to do more. But maybe not, maybe we could just I haven't I haven't drawn my Pokemon in a while. I need to do more. Phantom. Hey Bianca, I see you in your uh, your face. I see you the way you smile. You're happy that I'm not getting this Osh award. Oh, they got rid of it? Oh, that sucks. They stay. Um. Oh, dang. Oh, in Ocarina of Time, you mean? Oh. I mean, technically, there is a character called. For, there is a character in. Maybe that's Majora's Mask. Maybe I'm confusing the character. Might be the Majora's Mask character instead. Like the farm? From the farm you mean? From Lon Lon Ranch? Andreas, how you doing Andreas? We are doing our triple shiny hunt back again with Oshawott at 25k <laughs> uh, But we got two quick hunts quick encounter hunts at the side at the same time So we we are distracted from the fact that Oshawott is at 2, uh, 25,000 We have our Glimwood Tangle and Holucha hunts um, um, Glimwood Tangle is kind of just random, whichever. 25k, yep. Yep. Uh, we were talking about how much uh, I wanna. I've been I've been pushing uh, all the Oshawarts off the cliff on this reset. 180, 192, yeah. We are uh, currently triple the odds. Uh, thankfully, we've got the other two games to 
keep us company, but uh, this Osha Ward is definitely taking its who oh, I am. But how are you doing? How how's life? How you how's your day? Yeah, three times over odds. Unfortunate. This white two file really doesn't like me. Um, there's still a Bowser Easter egg. Oh, from the little girl from the Lon Lon Ranch, like Malon or Maron, Malon. Did you like Bayonetta 3? I thought it was alright, but it wasn't even close to being as good as Bayonetta 1 and 2. I love Bayonetta 3. I know people complain about the story. I don't think the story is bad. I don't think the story is bad. I don't know why. I don't, I mean, I get why people complain, but I also don't get it. <laughs> it's not a bad story. It's just sad that... It's just sad. It's just a sad story. <laughs> it's just sad. Being sad doesn't mean it's bad. It's a bad thing. You get to do laundry, but you don't wanna vibe. What a mood. I love Bayonetta 3. I love it a lot. Um, Bayonetta 1 will always be iconic and quote the best one. Just because of how memorable and iconic it is. I think Bayonetta 2... Bayonetta 2's... The thing that stands out about Bayonetta 2 is the design for Bayonetta. And... That's the, probably the design people know the most just because of Smash. But Bayonetta 2... I think... Probably my least favorite. Of the three. It's not bad. I just like... I do like Bayonetta 3. Design-wise, I think Bayonetta 2's version of Bayonetta is the best design. The short hair... That's a peak! <laughs> Heek Bayonetta design, okay? The 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 hair cloak with the short hair, like Zion. That's great that that's the Bayonetta look for Smash Brothers. Um, I think Bayonetta 3's design is nice too. They. You know, they, they had an idea and they executed it. The point was that it's supposed to be a cuter version of Bayonetta because she's the, she's the baby. She's the baby from the first game. That's the point. You know? And I feel like people don't like the ending because they don't see the point. <laughs> they, don't under they don't understand the ending. I think people don't understand the ending. I think that's why people don't like it. I think they don't get it. The ending might be just confusing. And I also don't like the Twitter's opinion of Bayonetta should be lesbians with Jean. I've never seen them as dating. Like, I don't care if they live in the same house and seen each other naked. They're girls! <laughs> like, <laughs> like and, it's, and in Japan especially, like, who cares if you see your girlfriends naked, honestly. Like, And the argument of, well, Bayonetta went to hell and back to save Jean. It must mean she she's in love. I don't... That's not... Love is not the only reason you go to hell and back to save someone. Okay? You don't have to want to date them to save them from... To risk your life saving them. Okay? <laughs> They, they grew up together. Of course she's gonna risk her life to save her best friend. <laughs> and people and some people complain that Luca and Bayonetta don't make sense. Said, Did you play the first game? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get Twitter's opinion. Bayonetta 2 design rated uh, excuse me, they asked for pickles. They asked for pickles, bitch. Where's my fucking burger? The BFFs for a reason. What's up, Ings? 10 likes, thank you. Smashing Brothers. Oh, I mean, Bayonetta is a smash. <laughs> I'll smash. What? 
He's super fast shiny from egg is Eevee. Oh nice! I think my fastest egg... I don't remember anymore. I will say, I think that Bayonetta 2 story is the worst one. As in like, like not, it's not bad, it's just like not as good as the others. I think Bayonetta 3 story is fine. I think it's just people were sick of the multiverse. I think it's just part of it. I think people getting sick of the multiverse plays a part in it, to be honest. I'm a very royal, okay. I'm sick of the multiverse too! In every fucking media nowadays. Invincible, I just watched Invincible season 2. They also touched the multiverse there. I'm sick of that shit. Okay, we don't need everything to be in the multiverse. But. <laughs> but <laughs> well, I thought, I thought Bayonetta 3 story was fine. You know what's the better game though? Cereza and the Lost Demon. You're sick of bad multiverses, yeah! <laughs> the MCU can fuck off! <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Look, MCU, you gotta chill! Most Marvel ones are bad. The Marvel ones? I don't know what the hell is going on. I give up. I watched Loki? What was the recent one? <laughs> what else came out? I didn't watch Quantumania. DC has a better version of multiverse characters. Yeah, it's too bad the movies are trash anyways, but you know. I feel like DC just stick to the anime though. Movies and shows. In those ones they actually care about writing. I don't have any hope for the James Gunn series, the James Gunn like universe. I don't really care. I can't be bothered to watch another Superman origin story to come a bit, you know. Literal Batman vampire, yeah. So I do think the multiverse, the whole multiverse. I don't know why everybody decided to do the multiverse at the same time. How did that happen? <laughs> How did every every single show on the planet decide to do the multiverse at the same time? Why? <laughs> One does it and the rest follow? It's dumb. Make it make your own story. But um But when it comes to like Bayonetta games Bayonetta 2 as peak as Bayonetta's design is the story me the story is okay, and it's kind of a setup, also. In a way, I hate Loki in Bayonetta. Loki in Bayonetta can suck my ass. Okay, he's annoying. He's I don't like his. Uh, eh. Comics have a multiverse because of different writers and artists. Yeah, it's just. It definitely wears people out when everybody, all the modern media does it at the same time. <laughs> I feel like comics that they can, they still find a way to make it work. But like when it comes to movies and TV shows, it's kind of hard to make it work. I did hear that the Fantastic Four movie is also in another universe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. I haven't caught up with the Fantastic Four thing. The only good Marvel thing recently is the Loki show. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm not looking forward to Deadpool. I guess. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I'll bother going to the theater to be to watch it though. I used to go to the theaters to watch for Marvel movies, but. I, you know, I, I went to the theatre and watched Doctor Strange and I gave up. I didn't bother with Quantum Media. You know... And, and Kang would have been cool if he didn't punch his girlfriend. <laughs> See, they have one good character and, and the actor decides to fuck it up for everybody else. Like, what's wrong with these people? 
Can we have one good thing? Why can't we have anything good? <laughs> we got one good actor and he decided to mess it up for everybody. Yeah, I, I don't really... Maybe Deadpool will save the MCU, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Never been to the theaters in ages. Not much going on you like to see or able to afford. Yeah, I used to go for Marvel movies, but I kind of stopped just because it sucks. <laughs> but, but I didn't. I didn't bother going to what Eternals. Eternals were Eternals was probably one of the the worst ones. <laughs> Ever crummy. The song played in public yesterday. Really? Like from a shop? Who's playing bayonetta music? That's they're the best shop ever. Or do you mean like the original Moon River? Last movie you watched was Super Mario movie? I watched that, I didn't watch it in the theater though. I watched it very legally. I very legally watched that one. It was a good movie. Fun movie. Same for Flyway to the Moon, hell yeah. Yeah, the Mario movie was fun. It's a fun, it's a fun watch. <clears throat> I'm not a movie person. I don't watch many movies. Most popular animated movie ever. Yeah, I think that's Spider-Verse. <laughs> Can I can I have have a hot I can I say my hot take? My hot take is um, I didn't like the se I didn't like the second Spider Verse movie. That's my hot take. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> Mostly watch TV shows and anime. Same. Right now I don't have any anime. Well, I have the one anime that the <laughs> Omega was <laughs> The animes that I was watching last season have already ended. Um, that was fun. It was fun while it lasted. This current season, I have there's really nothing that catch my interest. Good news, done a bit of random encounters on Leaf Green. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, Leaf Green and got oh you got shiny caterpillar. An orange pot to the past three days ago. Congrats on the shinies! We love some Gen 3 shinies. What are you gonna hunt next? Will you go for any of the legendaries in Leaf Green? I need some new anime. Maybe an anime that I missed or something. I watched a couple episodes of Dungeon Meshi the other day, it was okay. I know that one's popular. Apparently one of the characters in the English dub is that pro ZD guy, of course. <laughs> He's freaking everywhere. <laughs> to the point where it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss me too much. I think, I mean, I watched Miggy and Dali. I don't know what other anime I watched recently. I know some people like this baseball anime that recently came out also. I think it's a baseball anime. I, I don't, I don't watch sports animes. 
already done that. You're heading back to sword. Ooh. Oh, you're getting the Wilma? Oh, and Sharpedo. I did do the Sharpedo, but I, de I haven't done the Wilma yet. I really want to do that one. Maybe, maybe, maybe one of the, our next songs can be that Wilma. When I have more. When it's, maybe when this Osho Ward finally exists. I really want that Wilma shiny too. It's a good hunt. Looks fun. Man, there's so many cool hunts in these older games. Who cares about Scarlet and Violet? <laughs> Scarlet and Violet? I don't want to outbreak. I want to do these cool hunts in these older games. I had to adjust my freaking chair, man. The Sharpedo is a cool hunt too. Sharpedo sick. What a fun hunt. I really wanna hunt Farlings and Sword and Shield. Well mine is Shield. I also haven't hunted the fossils in Shield, so I wanna try that at some point. I really wanna do the fossils. I really want Octavish. Octavish is my favorite of the Gala fossils. Cause it looks like it looks it's about to sneeze. You know, I'll probably do after wish first, and then I don't know which one. I'll probably get all of them at some point in my life, <laughs> maybe in the, like the next ten years. <laughs> I do want to try and finish this. This I want to beat X and Y with my dream team before Legends. Uh, ZA comes out, so this Haolucha. Haolucha is our next team member in our Pokemon Y file. Uh, we The Tyrant that we got last time was our previous team member. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm so excited to hunt in. Legend ZA. Okay, here's the question. Do you think they'll bring the shiny sparkle sound back? <laughs> Do you think they'll listen and bring the sparkle sound back? Or will they fail us again and make it like Scarlet and Violet where there's, there's no sound for immersion? Sixteen hundred on sword and shield. If they don't rush this title, maybe they'll find time to put the shiny sound effect. I mean, it's coming out next year, not this year. Thank God. <laughs> thank God, it's not coming out this year. Save my wallet, you know. Do I, is there any new games coming out this year that I, I'm getting? Minus Yakuza 8 that already came out. But I'm trying to think if I, if I need to save for any games this year. I hope not. 
I mean, I'm gonna save anyways, regardless, but just in case. The Summer Games Fest, man. The Summer Games Fest could could pull a fast one on us. You hope it comes out December 2025? That'll be a true Christmas wish. Can you imagine it's 2025 but it's like January? <laughs> That'd be sad. I will cry. That's what I learned that what they do with Legends Arcade. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I wish Electrite wasn't in this route. You'll cry. comes out late next November next year if, 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 if you know and not like early next year I uh, like please take the time to make this game <laughs> like I guarantee they haven't fit like they're not done yet <laughs> you, you know they're not finished yet you, you know it's not done Just have to hopefully wait and see if they really mean it holding back releases. Yeah, I hope they really start to take it slower. They really don't need to rush. We, we don't need the game tomorrow. What I need is this Osha Ward. <laughs> Will the Osha Ward shine before Legend ZA? That is the question.
No, why am I getting so many horror encounters? Man, I haven't gotten a shiny sword and shield in a while too. I mean, I haven't hunted in this game for for <laughs> for long for a long ass time. Fuck's sake, all the hordes, man! Stop giving me horde encounters. When the horde appears, I do count all five. By the way. Because they are all individual encounters. I don't remember what's the last shiny I got in this game. Probably some Dynamax Adventure shiny, maybe. Oh, it was probably the, the Latios or Latias. Maybe. When did I take out my glasses or my model? <laughs> when did that happen? Did I just press it? Oops. They are poor it, huh? What? Why haven't I run from this thing? Oops. Man, electric's so lame in this room. <laughs> Does anyone think Electra looks ugly and dirty? <laughs> it's not the best looking. I feel like the 2D sprite looks a lot better. Is 
Isn't that literally half the Pokemon? Yeah, but no, something about it. I guess seeing seeing Electric front facing is kind of look. It's like you know when you see a dog forward, <laughs> they look kind of dumb. <laughs> they look kind of dorpy. I think my Natric looks cool in 3D and 2D. <laughs> Sometimes the 2D sprites look better, but some, some Pokemon need the 3D sprites, like Dragon. Dragon looks so much better in 3D. In 2D, it looks ugly as shit. Look how derpy. It's because his head is so giant. The evolution looks cool. No, but the evolution looks cool in 2D and 3D. I think it's just because Electric's head is freaking giant. Its face is. It has a big face. <laughs> Maybe it's just because, like, the encounter is front facing. Is that part of the music? Is that an angel? I heard a <laughs> I think that was part of the music. Currently tuning Bakamitai. Whoa, Bakamitai! Wait, wait, who? Cold Zomo Nanonai. Yo, my wow. Oh, well, Thai Kai, sorry, sorry, Thai. Should do a um, machine gun kit. Should do like a butterfly. <laughs> Just do every song in the game. Osha Watt. See, what if it is Osha Watt never shines though? The fear, that's the fear. What if it never shines? Isn't it crazy that this Osha Watt isn't the, even close to my highest number?
I don't. I think I did look up how Lucha's moves said. I don't think it has any moves that can kill me or like throw me out of the battle. Saw a shield though, Roly Coly. I haven't hunted Roly Coly before. Roly Coly is a good shiny, but it has explosion. <laughs> I love, I love that they gave Roly Coly explosion in the first round that you find it on. Roly Coly, only. Damn, plus you fix it, something to keep it nice and nice. Yeah, you can get quite. I think. I think my damn quite tie is still in that file. I don't know if I transferred it over to a different game or not. so much that my Hornage is gaining friendship. I don't remember it doing the friendship shake. <laughs> but I reset the game every time, so I don't know what I, I don't know what I know. It shouldn't be gaining friendship. After Burner, you love this song? Hell yeah. Here, make those vocals in my mind uses to the Project Diva version. <laughs> hey, Indeedy, would have been nice. <laughs> would have been nice if you had blue ears, blue croissant ears. I don't know if the diva is a new arrangement or not. I don't know. I don't know. more modern. MODERN?! When do you think Bayonetta came out in 2009? <laughs> Game came out 2009. 
Man, Yakuza 3 and Bayonetta 3 came out at this. No, I mean Bayonetta 1 came out in the same year. <laughs> Come back to the OG OG. Oh. You're back where you had to go. Until next time, have an awesome day. Goodbye. Ivor, thank you for hanging out and vibing with us. Uh, sorry that we didn't get any shinies so far. Game. I'm sick of this Osha Ward, man. The Frig. Yo, Rin. Sorry about the lack of shinies. It's good. It's all RNG, it's all luck. Some days you just got no luck, you know, you can not every stream not every shiny hunting stream will gain us a shiny. But that, that that's why we wanna hunt on three different games, you know. Maybe there's a chance one of them will decide to be luckier than the others. You said the diva one? I'm pretty sure you've we've, I've heard it before. I remember we talked about this afterburner thing. I don't know if I can listen to the Project Diva one without Project Diva coming for me. still enjoying the stream somehow. I know it's a bit more chill than the Yakuza streams. And sometimes sometimes there's moments where like I feel like everybody goes brain dead for like 10 minutes, including myself. But sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be that way. Heard anything interesting from your least favorite bird? Your least favorite bird? Do I remember what your least favorite bird is? You tested it. It's clean. The app. Oh, like any tea? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen any tea recently. I don't think so. change OST because this one's about to end. You don't use the app so you keep up through secondhand sources. Yeah I haven't seen any any crazy crazy tea. Um the only thing that I've been seeing on on on, on the on the app is um the fucking Jojo Siwa shit. Jojo Siwa music. Jojo Siwa's cover The app is more toxic than some Discord servers. Oh, of course! That app is like the definition of toxic side of the internet. I was a bad girl. Ah, look! The song itself, the lyrics, kind of lit. The song, the instrumental, ugh. Her singing? 
uh, you know, just listen to the the other version, the original version. It's too bad the original version is not on Spotify yet. The original version is so much cooler. The Jojo Siwa version is... The fact that Jojo Siwa sang it made it a meme, yeah. At least it gave light to the original version. And like, if you actually... The lyrics themselves are kinda nice. Kinda cool lyrics. It's too bad... An idiot sang it. And... Is claiming that it's hers, kind of. Even though it wasn't made for her, <laughs> it was made for somebody else. Have you tested any fun karaoke songs since last time? I mean, I've really just been learning. I've just really, I've been singing a lot of Machine Gun Kiss in my own time. <laughs> what other songs should I even learn, though? I don't have many songs that I like. What songs do I recently listen to? Well, I don't know. The OG came out, no one ever bad and I might not have been known. Yeah, especially because it's like a singer. It wasn't a famous singer, it was like a new singer. Who's like just chilling now. I don't know about what other new karaoke songs that we can that we can try I don't listen to a lot of new songs unless it's like from some anime that I like to watch recently lesser known talent can be gems yeah and this, this one would, would have been a gem but if it came out back then no one would have known about it so I guess that's the only good thing about this Jojo C1 nonsense. I don't think maybe I mean maybe she's a bit of an idiot, but <laughs> she's like going through it. She's going through that phase. She's going through those the crazy psychopathic like post legal age years of a child star. It's just a it's just a thing that happens. To a lot of child actors and dancers and singers and all that nonsense. Unsure and how to reduce fine lines. Shush! What the hell are these ads? Have you seen an anime whose MC your YouTube account? Oh, Blue Exorcist. I've seen the first season. Um. It, it's cool. I don't watch too much shonen anime anymore. It's a cool anime though. Um, my sister is the one that continued watching it. I didn't continue watching season 2 and beyond. Gotta love how Hollywood raises children. Yeah, you know. Like, when Jojo Siwa says that her inspiration is Miley Cyrus, you know I get it. Miley Cyrus went through the same thing. When when she when she left Disney and became legal age, she went crazy. And remember how everybody hated Miley Cyrus back then? It's the same thing! It's the same thing. Just with a taller person. Season three is airing at Country Roll. Oh nice. Yeah, I don't watch the I don't watch Blue Exorcist. You don't even don't even know if you were alive then. What when Miley Cyrus went crazy? It wasn't that long ago. When did when did when did like Blood Lines come out? 2011 or something? 12? It's not it's not like it was twenty years ago. You were a toddler? Damn. 
the fuck? <laughs> Where has time gone? Well, see, now she's fine. Now she's like in her thirties. She's learned that she's learned not to be crazy. She's fine now. Jojo Siwa is going through the same thing. She's gonna be crazy for the next five years, and then like she'll she's gonna take a break. And then when she when she comes back from the break, she's gonna be like a normal. She'll think like a normal human, hopefully. Maybe that's one possibility that she could be on. That's one timeline. Or she could go the the bath water route and sell her bath water or some shit. To be fair, they're probably on some stuff when they were introduced to Hollywood. I mean, it was Disney back in the day. Well, Jojo Siwa... Jojo Siwa is like a different, different, gener different generation of child stars too. What a horde of electric! Since when is there hordes of electric in this route? Feel bad for the Nickelodeon actors, yeah. Hopefully they freaking cleaned out the fucking studio first, but that isn't off the freaking weirdos. But yeah, I, I I know about the quiet on set. It's like you're not surprised, you just feel bad. It's not surprising. I feel like everybody's known about it for a long time. Everybody's known all this bullshit happens for like the last two decades. Chinese. Last you checked, they were protecting because it's Hollywood. Because the, all the people in charge are also part of it. There's a, there's like a ring, and they have to protect the ring because everybody's a part of it. What re what can we really do, you know? And, stat and statistic wise these kinds of offenses people who are who who go to jail for this type of thing usually get lighter sentences because they make deals because they know if they go to jail they're gonna get fucked up in jail <laughs> because the, the, these types of these types of criminals are in, in jail are the lowest of the low. People, the prisoners will hate you too. <laughs> the prisoners will kill you first. There's ranks in prison. The weirdos, the weirdos will die in jail <laughs> if they stay there. So they, they, they tend to make deals and get out early. Hold it, yes. We're trying to find how Lucha right now, our new friend, and this Osha Ward. And we're hoping for something in the forest. I don't know what. Indeedy, Ponyta, or Antique Sinistry. Prison is just like hell. Just don't be a freaking weirdo, you know. There's hierarchy. Oh, yeah. Of course. It's a good thing. <laughs> It's a good thing that they hate these fucking creeps. Makes sense. Unless they're a chick. <laughs> yeah. That's not normal. <laughs> okay, we can we can move on from the logistics of prison. <laughs> what the fucking you know who goes to prison? It's fucking Osha Ward, that's who. 
I'm gonna send Priyanka to jail for not giving me a shrine. How you doing, Gandrapu? Don't even know how we got to this topic. Talking about Miley Cyrus and Jojo Siwa. <laughs> so Jojo Seed is nuts, man. The fuck, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get sent to jail for killing Bianca myself. I'm about to strangle this professor's assistant. Look at this. Look at how unshiny this stupid little shit is. You bitter? Oh no! I keep taking off the glasses. The Hornet Sparkles give you a heart attack? See, what gives me a heart attack is the Emogas. Your ADD autistic brain make the weirdest turns. That's, that's fine. It's better to have a. a, a, a a bunch of topics instead of talking about instead of not talking at all that's how that's how these shiny hunting streams go and the art streams you know in yakuza we have something to focus on which is the game in these streams we just talk about whatever <laughs> you're like what oh no mine and i feel you See, I wish I could turn off the volume on my 3DS, but I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do that. But it's fine, I need to hear the sparkles in case I miss something, especially in the hot encounters. The hot encounters, I could miss something just because it might sparkle off, stream, off the screen. The, you double full art shiny bagon, you lost one forever. Oh no, you reload the game, you save where they both were. Oh shit. The bagon. Wait, so did you get it? The bagong? The baguette? That was weird. The bloop sound and I pressed my DS at the same time. The X and Y camera is against you. <laughs> That's what happens when you make it front facing but then you have hot encounters where there are five things that spawn. But it's zoomed in. <laughs> it zooms into the middle. <laughs> I actually like the center's camera because it looks cool, but then the horror encounters don't really- it doesn't help. Realize their mistake and changed it for auras. <laughs> the thing is, it doesn't help in auras either. <laughs> the auras one encounters also sparkle off screen. The auras makes it way more cinematic. Yeah, I guess so. I like them both. Gen 6 sparkles are just nice. I love that they dim the background. Make it make the shiny stand up more. We gotta go to school tomorrow, so gotta hit the hay. Goodbye, Rin. Thank you for hanging out and vibing. And hanging out. Hope to see you next time. In Violet, you reclaimed it on the second sandwich in less than two minutes. Doesn't feel the same. I feel that. You got like six national tests the following week. Oh shit. Good luck on the test. Blue. You love the dim? It's like this is not what you need to focus on. Yeah, exactly. You're dying inside. Oh no! Good luck. You got this. I believe in you. Good luck on the test.
Manage to combine studying for two at once. On the other hand, it involves nuclear physics. Oh shit, that. Nuclear physics? Damn! The topic itself sounds complicated, alright. Nuclear physics. Do you always die inside? Parts that you chose it. <laughs> yeah, at least it's. I mean, if at the end of the day it, it gets you the certification you need and you want, you gotta push through. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. You're starting to question if you're F. I don't think you can judge whether you're S or M because of what subjects you pick in school. <laughs> What about, what about you have a willingness to learn? Willingness to to go through a difficult subject to, uh, You know The power of anime Make it hard for yourself on purpose Hey, sometimes you need the challenge, you know It's like me, like I choose to do full odds instead of shiny hunting with method hunts because I want, I, you know, I make it harder for myself by hunting in the full odds. Does that mean I'm an M? I don't think so. No. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want a challenge. I need, I, I need the challenge, you know. It's not, it's not as fun. It's not bo it's boring when it's too easy. You know, the only one that can beat me is me! <laughs> Goodbye, Rin. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, hopefully I will get- Hopefully we get some shiny today! Right, Oshawott? We still have time to hunt. We have a lot of time. Bony Phantom would go away. You aren't. Oh man, what am I gonna do with this? Oh, 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 what is quick, quick. Uh. See, you know who's an M? Kiryu. <laughs> Kiryu's an M. <laughs> Osha Ward is available, is it there? Dude. This Osha Ward is um, definitely getting some milk. We need some milk! Seventeen hundred on the Glimwood Tangle. It's not country gala months at this point. What? Country gala? That must have been autocorrect. <laughs> oh, okay, counting. Almost 11 months since started the Dream Team Quest, you only have one shiny. Hey, it's okay, you know, I haven't touched this Y Dream Team Quest in 5 years! <laughs> you know, and who the hell knows how long my other Dream Team Quest has, haven't been continued. 
Sometimes you just forget. So you know, sometimes it'd be like that. There's so many games to hunt in nowadays. <laughs> and especially when they kept pumping out new games every fucking year. At least they stopped a little bit, maybe, hopefully. Give us time to hunt some stuff. There's so many things in Sol I never got to hunt because they kept releasing new games. Two of them will be full on egg hatching. Oh, yikes. See, that's the hunt I really don't want to do. Oh man, you know they're gonna shiny lock whatever the hell the starters are in the new Legends Zaw. That's gonna be annoying. The only thing is I hope that it doesn't function like the decks in in uh, Legends Arceus. Cause in Legends Arceus it's hard to keep it at full odds. It's possible but it's difficult. It's difficult to keep it full odds. Uh, <laughs> no, Legend ZA, please! Don't make the filling the dex entries full increase the odds. If you want to replace one, oh, you need to do eggs for Galarian Ponita. Damn, bro. Naked? I really want to hunt Naked too. Oh, that's another one that I don't have, but I really love the shiny. Such a good shiny. Not Thievil! Thievil's, Thievil's okay, but like Naked is so cute. I want one. Ah, uh, why is there so much shit in Sword and Shield? I still want that Sizzly Pete too. If we get if we get something in the forest, we're going for a Sizzly Pete next. We're gonna go back for that Sizzly Pete that I never got. Revenge, revenge hunt for that Sizzly Pete. So, Glimwood Tangle needs to shine at some point so that we can have our revenge. GameStop has saw it, you went to grab it, so you had no idea. Oh, I see, I see. Ah, this Slurpatch is cool. <laughs> but Galar and Ponyta. But then Galar and Rapidash is not as cool. It's one of your targets. You'll hunt it at the gym. Uh, I want to hunt it at the gym too. But I've already gone so far for in the route. And I can't go for in the gym anymore unless I start a new file. That doesn't have the mark charm and stuff. That would be a fine.
I'm changing OST. Some of these Splatoon make me feel like I'm in a different planet. Look. <clears throat> Snubble, get out of here, my face. If I get a snubble, I won't evolve it. I don't like grand, I'm not a grand bull fan. Fucking X and Y never runs away.
the new face on Haulucha off stream. Yeah, so off stream, I I I I face and got a shiny Sigilyph. It's not the recent shiny because I didn't get it on screen. But I did get a shiny Sigilyph um, at one hundred and thirteen <laughs> encounters. So I barely hunted off screen and and I and I already phased on how Lucha. Uh, with, with, with the other most common thing in the route, which is Sigilyph. Sigilyph does have Whirlwind on this route, so this is Sigilyph is a dangerous Pokemon to shine. Uh, but as long as you have a Pokemon that's higher level, then, it, then it's fine. Whirlwind won't work on higher level Pokemon. But I do have a Sigilyph now in, in, in my party. Just vibing until this uh, Haulucha shows up. I could show it off in battle. You thought you only applied to Raw? Yeah, Whirlwind also, the same thing is, happens with Whirlwind. Whirlwind won't do anything unless it's like, unless you're the same level or below. No way. I can show it off in I can show it off in battle. So here's our our sigilif. So there's a regular sigilif, and there's our shiny one. Nice, gorgeous. It's a good shiny. What a nice shiny. I named it Tampines. Don't worry about the name. Its name means nothing. <laughs> you wanna hunt on that route? Going for shiny charm, full odds at the same time? Ooh. But yeah. Just have a Pokemon that's higher than level like 20, 25 or something. I mean 21. I think 20... No! 20... Get a Pokemon that's above 25. I think 24 might be the highest in the round. I actually am not sure. My Pokemon are like level 28. So... I sh I'm fine. I did use a quick ball on it. First... First... Ball. Imolga is the ultimate shino. I keep thinking that it's brighter than it actually is. I keep thinking the regular Imolga should be darker than the... But is that just how the... Th I think that's just... I think it's because of the 3DS color. <laughs> I think it's just 3DS looks like that. Maybe there's a 3DS fault in why it looks, looks like that. Oh, the Ragoon! A short break at work. Oh, three big. In oh, oh, oh! You don't know why the 3D models look so booty cheeks because it's a 3DS. The 3DS colors look like shit. I tried to up the saturation on the webcam though, because the 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 the, the, the 3DS colors of the Pokemon are not as vibrant as Sword and Shield. I look at Sword and Shield. We're in a dark forest and it still looks brighter than the fucking 3DS and I'm seeing it in real life! <laughs> 3DS looks so anemic. 
might just be it might be the webcam but it's probably because 3ds the 3ds colors of the more of the pokemon were not as bright going for mass wrestler oh yeah we're going for the luchador how you doing dragon hoon and the osha wamp of course the mass royal oh how did they not put a hollow chain and the mass royal in the same game it's defo 3ds yeah that's what i'm saying that the 3ds the models in the 3ds look like shit anyway it could just be that my 3ds is dying <laughs> maybe it's that you literally have a 2DS XL and even though the saturation is up, it's still S. See, I'm telling you, it's the, it's the 3DS models. 3DS models. That's why the shinies all look like shit. Some, not all of them, but like some of the green ones and stuff like Espeon look like shit. They look much better in Sword and Shield. Your 3DS is hopefully not dying. Yeah, hopefully it still survives. I really don't want it to die. It has Pokemon Bank. Or if it's getting close to dying, I need to protect it and not use it as much. Because it has Pokemon Bank. The satisfied Pokemon game got desaturated by the games already. Yeah. They look fine in Sword and Shield. They don't look bad, it's just like stuff like the Emolga. The Emolga looks paler than it would be. The black is not as dark as it should. Price. Not as not as like it's not jet black, but it's not not that gray. It's not gray, you know. I don't think so. I don't think it's supposed to be gray. Oh yeah, the horde encounters out. Ah. I actually don't want the horde encounters because none of them have the Pokemon that I want. I don't see no horde how luchas. How you doing Dragon Kung? Tired from work more than half an hour to go then you can go home. Oh! Just half an hour left! Half an hour will pass by in a flash. Hey, okay, maybe in half an hour this fucking shiny will show up. Gen 3 or 4 music? I didn't even realize it was Pokemon music. The one earlier was uh, the mud from Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Right now it's platinum music. I didn't even realize it's. I was not even. I can't even hear the music anymore. <laughs> know what you can get? I know what can get you the shiny talk like Ash for one minute. Okay. Wow. But. Ash doesn't know what a shiny Pokemon is. He can't tell the difference because I'm an idiot. I, don't, I can't tell the difference between a shiny Noctowl. Yeah, it's on out of my mind. Okay, wow, oh! <laughs> Pokemon champion? That's awesome, Pikachu! <laughs> Literally became too backgroundy. Whoa, an Eevee! Holy shit! Didn't they say Noctowl looks different in the episode too? Yeah, Ash is just a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Hey, that Noctowl looks has a very special color, Ash! One! 
What's so special about it? All is, it's just yellow and sparkles. My piss is yellow too, and I don't, I don't do anything special about that. Make sure to change your underwear, Ash. Oh, shut up, Mom. <laughs> shut up, Mom. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Ash! Pikachu! Pikachu's yellow and I don't see that fucking difference! Ah, but Ash Noctowl is not normally yellow. So! I can't tell the difference. I'm Ash Ketchum, and I gotta catch them all, and then throw them away later. <laughs> when were shiny Pokemon even discovered by the worldwide net like Gen 3? Um, the Lake of Rage Gyarados. But I guess... To be fair, a lot of people didn't realize what the fuck that Gyarados was supposed to be. <laughs> he forgot that existed. I think at that to at that point, people were like, "Oh, what's that?" Like it it was like it. That's where shinies came from, but it wasn't really well known. I think, I think like the shinies really became more prominent during, like a little bit during Gen Four. But mostly X and Y is like when shiny hunting started to uh, bu 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 booming on the internet, you know what I mean? You literally forgot the thing, I just did the right thing. The Rigorogros. The weak Pokemon! It's you, Magic God! Totally pathetic, unreliable. I don't remember the words. I don't remember the one that hurt the most. <laughs> is this thing so famous? It's forgettable. Just cause like, at this point, shiny hunting is so huge. Like, who gives a shit about a free one? Who cares about the free Gyarados anymore? We gotta hunt these ourselves. We gotta go in the street, touch some grass. It's you, magic card. When do you think I should make a new file on this white two? I've been making new. F <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait! Oh shit! No way! Wait, let me check this Osha one. Fuck you, Osha one! Fuck this Osha Ward, man. Wait! Oh shit! I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, we ha we cannot fail this. Hold on, let me take a picture. <laughs> this had to go into the reaction. What did I even say? <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Let me go to here. Which one is it? This one? Wow, look at it! <laughs> it's such a cool shiny! Oh my god! Wait, I don't have a name for it! Wait, I need to take a picture. We have to catch it first. Well, let me take a picture. Oh, the weak Pokemon! The new magic card! Let me take a picture. That was so fast! It's a whammon. That's such a fast hunt. Oh my god, you can see the tape on my speakers because uh, the 3DS volume is fucking broken. 
Okay, we have to be very, very careful and not press run by accident. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Why, is... Why don't I arrange this shit off screen? Whoa, it's such a cool shiny! Holy shit. Just throw balls. Facts. I'm just checking balls. Okay. Okay. Be very, 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 very careful. Do not press fight. I can't see the ball on the screen. Bag. Bag. Okay. Bag. Pokeballs. What do I have? I got Pokeballs, Great Balls, Net Balls, Timer Balls. I got a Quick Ball, got Luxury Balls. What do I have? Ultra balls. I have one dust ball. You like the shiny? You just think something could be different? Maybe the red. Maybe the green. It's probably the green. <laughs> it's probably the red. I don't know. Red or the green? What should I throw? Should I try the one dust ball? I have one dust ball. It's early game. It should look good in the dust ball. And it is night time. So there's a better chance it might catch. Okay, we're gonna throw the one dust ball. Yeah! Easy game! Yo, this game is so easy! Yo, this game is so easy! <laughs> Yay, we got it! Man, we went from a five year hiatus and now we have two team members already. Whoa, look at that! Shiny Dex, sign Shiny Dex, my Shiny Dex! A name? I don't have a name! I don't have a name for it. I don't know, I, I never thought of, I actually didn't think of it, I forgot that I didn't come up with a name yet. What should we name? Let's name her... Um... Congrats to thank you! Let's see, what should we name her? Bianca. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Um. Let's see. It's a she. Was about to say Kukui. <laughs> Not Bianca. <laughs> um. 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 Um <laughs> Bianca Donk Bianca Bianca Oh, it fits. <laughs> Bianca Dong has been transferred to box one. Shit, it's in my boxes. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? The anorif is so small. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, let me save. Let me save. Let me save. I'm saving. I'm saving. 
No, get me out of here! Man, thank god we didn't face so much. There's so much shit in this route. Okay, let me get out of this route. Hell yeah! My god, we only need one team member left, but I had I don't really know I don't know what I want for my final team member. It was originally supposed to be Dragalge, but I don't know if I want Dragalge or Klefki or something else so I don't have the same typings of other things. Okay. Should we nature guess? Okay, the, the nature is gonna be on the screen, so. What everyone nature guess for for Bianca Donk? Don't ask me why this Ralts is named Psycho Andrea. I don't know. I don't know why I have it. I'm gonna guess Burl. Naughty. And it's... Careful! Wow! A Bianca Donk! Bianc Aka Donk! Shiny Hello Jay, your legend back. Welcome back! So here's our Sigilith, which was our phase one that was off screen. That was Naughty Nature! And now, we have Bianca Donk! Bianca Donk can join the team. Our team is looking great. Also, I evolved Betty into Valplume. This one will be the Belloso. Yeah, here's our team! We have Mugen the Hornage. Clavier the Brixen. Now we have Bianca Donk. We also have Schnorsch the Tyrant and Ayanagi the Floet. One thing though that's funny, I'm keeping a red red and purple, red and purple, red and purple, red and purple, blue. <laughs> Everything else was red and purple. Look at our boy! Well, I did train up Schnorsch to be the same level, but now... We can train up Bianca Donk because Bianca Donk's only level 20. Let's send Bianca Donk out into battle, shall we? Bianca Donk. Let me save again. Ah, oh, our team. So let's send our new team member out into battle. There's a regular electric. Whoa! Now shiny! Yeah, let me remove the tape so that we can hear the sparkles. Alright, let's send it out again. Not in a hard. Whoa! One of the best shinies in the game. At least one of the craziest shinies for sure. Hell yeah, 1449. Not bad at all. Hell yeah, Bianca Donk. Hopefully, I don't have another shiny that's already named Bianca Donk. Well, damn. Now we can play X and Y until whenever. We'll definitely finish the Dream Team by this year, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Well now what? 
Now what I do on this DS. Ah! I do have another ongoing hunt. <laughs> that we could transfer our DS over now. I did start a, a diff another hunt. Another dream team member. Y'all. You ready for this? It's Joltik on a Pokemon Black. I'm gonna save a uh, fiftieth time and change our recent shiny to how Lucha. That's not on this file. Whoa! Oh, oops, 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 oops. Oh, ew. <laughs> there you go! Hell yeah! Well, I can delete how much of this of my phone counter. And we can end the poll. How Lucha was the losing of the poll? Man, everybody stop voting for Osha Ward. <laughs> Every time, oh, the losers keep winning, keep shining first. So now that we have Haulucha, we can spend a bit of a bit of shiny hunting time for for another another in another game. A very cool game. Everybody stop voting Osha Ward. I'm not even gonna put Osha Ward in the next poll. <laughs> Maybe that will make it shine. I what well, didn't Tyrant wasn't Tyrant losing the poll to when it shined? What the frick? I'm not gonna do the Latios hunt. Not yet. I'm not ready. I'm not mentally ready for the Latio Steven hunt. All right, we have. Oop. Pokemon Black version. Let me just arrange in the camera. So that it looks good. These are random encounters for Joltik. Does it already look fine? Oh, it already looks good! The hell? I don't have to rearrange it. Oh shit! 
do two Osho Ward at once, I literally am, am, do not have the resources to do that. <laughs> I do not have a second white two game. I do not I do not have a second game to do Osho Ward on. If I could, I would have done that a long time ago. But I, I do not do not have uh, another white two or another Gen five gain to do the starter hunt in. Depression has activated. Okay, let me just change this number. I only did a couple for Joltik. Two five zero. You know, I didn't expect this Osho what to take this long, so I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. Okay, let's continue. We will we'll go a little long. We'll go. We'll go a little bit more. You didn't expect to be able to do 500 resets in one day? Oh, in what game? It depends on the game that you to do, how many encounters you can get. Yet here we are, all in Legends. See, look at how different the shiny is in Gen 5 for Joltik. It's a completely different color. Because you're lazy. That's fine. Not everybody has the time to sit here and like an idiot and hunt in all these games. All these old games, especially with the old hunts. So this this hunt for Joltik is 8192. We have we have brought back the 8192 random encounters. So what will shine first? The 4092 game, the 8192 game or Osha Ward? Who's been cooking for the last 30 years? Trash boat! You're hunting Litten in Ultra Sun? Ooh, you need a break from shaming noises. I hope you get Litten soon. I'll be starting my Litten hunt at some point soon. I wanna edit my Lake Trio reaction video first before I start writing and stuff for my sun nostalgia team quest but yeah we how are you doing trash boat we just got how lucha just now it was great i was surprised i thought i was gonna go over odds because my first phase of that hunt was super fast see gen 5 is when gen 5 is when my own sparkle scare me because if, if i'm not looking Utsukushi oh, wants another pot with Sacha out! That's right. I want that. I want that little. Give me that pot with Sacha. It's gonna be named Tony though, that little. You're doing Dream Team Quest with this little? Mimikyu's gonna be a pain? Oh shit. Good luck. Don't mind it if you hear the Gen 5 sparkles. 
I can't lower the volume of the game, unfortunately. But it's nice to see some Gen 5 encounters. But yeah, what should my last team member on Pokemon Y be? I, I, will, I don't know if I should do Scrap or Clef Key or something else in Gen 5. I mean Gen 6. Pumpkaboo is always your choice. Hold on, I do want to check how many balls I have. What if I'm hunting this without any Pokeballs? No way, I just bought Pokeballs before I came here. I probably should get more. I feel like I need more. But whatever. Right now our team is... Um, Tyron, Haulucha, Brixen, Hornich, Flogis. The route does have Klefki and Sally, Phantom. Ah, why is Phantom fucking everywhere? I'm sick of Phantom's face. You're doing a hunt where you can't leave the area until you find a shiny alpha in the first area? Oh, Should we do something like that? Like a video about... I have to find an alpha shiny before I leave the area. I could... That could be a challenge video. So... We'll put that on the fire. Rotom or the trash can spawns. Yes, I'll I'll think about it. That's a that's a fun idea, like a fun video idea we could try, like a shiny hunting video. Do it on hair across. If I if, if I did that challenge, I would like check every alpha. <laughs> I'll just run around and hope I get an alpha shiny. Cause there can be wild alphas too, random ones. You need to transfer your Delphox up for the next Legends game. I probably won't transfer anything up to my up to Legends Zar. Unless necessary for some reason. What the? Osha, what? We finally have a Gen 5 game at the same time as you. When are you gonna shine? Mr. Otter needs to turn pink. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this fucking hunt. I've gotten like five, at least five shinies while I'm hunting at the same time with this Osher Ward. No, the more than five. At least five, right? I think so, somewhere around there. But this, Osh this Osher Ward has literally seen through so many years of hunting and it still doesn't want to shine. Like, what is this? What is this nonsense? If he doesn't shine, he's not my favorite anymore. <laughs> he hasn't shined for three years. Is the old gen odds unforgiving? I got Snivy in that same hunt at 800. 25, even for old gen odds, 25,000? That's beyond what's expected. Way beyond what's expected. <laughs> I 
and I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of this fucking hunt, especially because it's slow. It's, it's mainly because it's a slow reset and I have to see Bianca's stupid face every goddamn time I reset the game. He's just being shy. Well, he needs to fucking grow some balls and, and shine for us. <laughs> You don't need to be shy no more, it's been three years! He's the reason I keep chucking his friends over the railing. Uh, I think if it goes anywhere close to the number, I think I'll, I think, uh, I think I'll be dead by then. <laughs> There's no being shy, it's a kashish! This Oshawott has has lived through a Gen 3 hunt. Gen 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 6 hunts now. If you live through this Gen 5 hunt, you will cry blood. Do you know how much I sacrificed? At least twenty-five thousand twenty two hundred eighty. Yep, we're almost there. It's always the question of will it shine in the next thousand? <laughs> so will it shine before twenty-six thousand? There's three times over odds now, yep. Four times will be 32,000 and I, I don't wanna go there. Not again. We don't need that. <laughs> Not for this Osha award. You can go to the number in any other hunt. It's gonna be female perfect nature. I don't know, I have pretty bad luck with nature. My tapping in, in this black game is timid nature. That's such ass. It's such an ass nature for it. <laughs> I have pretty bad luck with my shiny natures. I've rarely gotten one with a really good nature. I've gotten a lot decent at best. That's the, that's the only perfect nature you ever got is your modest Latias. <laughs> What's your favorite shiny hunt you wanna do? Well... Um... I really wanna hunt the Ultra Beast in Ultra Sun. I also wanna hunt- there's a lot of like... Um... Sword and shield hunts I wanna do. Like I wanna hunt Phalanx. Phalanx is a cool one to try and get. Bro? Buzzwall? Yeah. I wanna hunt Buzzwall. Are they shiny locked, the Ultra Beast? In Ultra Sun, they are not shiny locked. See stuff like Blacephalon? Oh, I really want to hunt that. Yeah, 
you hate Bianca after going this far. <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to push her off, the, push her down the stairs that we're standing in nearby. I'm about to push her down the stairs. Like, we've had longer hunts. But this one, this Osha one, my god. <laughs> Throw her. <laughs> oh Bianca, trust me, I'll throw you down and won't look won't look back. Stare right into her eyes as her uh, as she falls down the last step. <laughs> You're sick and tired of seeing Kukui talk to you for like a minute before you even get to choose Litten. <laughs> There's gonna be me when I start my nostalgia team quest. I'm gonna. When I start my nostalgia team quest, I need like a quick encounter at the si enc encounter game at the side or something. Because that Litten, that, that sun reset for Litten is gonna be. Um, definitely gonna be something. I'm gonna do the Ultra Sun for Popplio as well, so someday. My Auras is also at the Steven Latios reset, so that's a hunt we're gonna do someday too. Re the, the hunt I'm dreading the most though is that egg, the singular egg for that Togepi, Cynthia's Togepi. The Cynthia Togepi egg hunt. Oh my god. The sound of just the, just the words. Just the thought. The thought of it makes me want to die. You want to shiny hunt Mewtwo in Let's Go? Have I done that? That might be the only thing I haven't done in Let's Go yet. I don't remember if I did that hunt. I don't think I did. Should we do it? I think that's the only thing I haven't the only legendary I haven't hunted in there. I don't think I did the Mewtwo, let's go. I did the the birds. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll do that. Throwback! <laughs> let's go throwback! <laughs> if you want to say something Mewtwo, let's go, so good luck to you both. I'm not I don't plan to do it anytime soon. I have a lot of other hunts that I want to do first, but maybe one day we'll, we'll I have to go back to that fucking video too. I haven't, I, I don't even think I've started it. Unless I have it and I don't remember. I, I can't remember if I already have it or not. Maybe I do, maybe I already have it. Go up to your fiance for getting me too.
Every time Palpatine comes out, it's in front of Shiny. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm like, if just ignore the sparkle sounds. I can't turn off the volume on this. So... <laughs> Gen 5 sparkles are the one that's... De definitely the sound scares me. But, uh... Yeah. You're waiting for that pink shell. Honestly, same. All these other hunts are like the side quests. Where's the main plot? <laughs> the main plot is slow as hell. They keep revealing more and more about this game called Kuni Kunitsugu Kunitsugumi or something. I don't remember if that's the name or not. It looks cool, but ah, I'm so so on the fence on that game. Bayonetta music. Ow! Did I not go? You got a mac and cheese shell. Ooh! From Hard Gold Soul Silver. Luca. Jean. Joshua, over here! Or should want the final boss to be defeated by Bolos? Bolos, Giratina. Nice mac and cheese shell. shelter <laughs> now I see what you mean he does look like mac and cheese congrats on the shell bar you can't make out what you're trying to say um, I kind of get it maybe I don't know Look at how happy she is to give us some non-shiny Pokemon. Put shiny Sheldon or she want free shiny. <laughs> Too bad Sheldon's not in the game. Well it is, actually. Never mind, I'm stupid. I forgot this is white too for a second. <laughs> I was thinking it's just just Gen 5 and nothing else but Gen 5 Pokemon. Somebody go in the ocean and take one of the shiny shellers and throw it onto Osha what? Whoever picked this old SD tracks of Bayonetta 1, 2, you have good taste. I love Bayonetta. I love me some Bayonetta music too. I'm a huge Bayonetta fan. And of my queen, Helena Taylor. <laughs> no, but I, I really love Bayonetta. Bayonetta is one of my favorites. Cereza? You're not from Reagan, are you, little one? Where are you from? I'm from the house. Oh, you're not in your Sunday best, are you, ugly little shit? <laughs> You slept on three in a spin-off though she was when she was little. Sl I know the I know the popular take on, on Twitter for three is that 
is bad. I think it's fantastic. And I think Cereza and the Lost Demon is perfect. <laughs> perfect game. For a few seconds, you won't tell won't tell if the Korita is shiny or not. Yeah, because it freaking glows and covers up the color. <laughs> Same for X and Y. X and Y, X and y has cool Pokemon. Story wise, you're not really missing out. It has, it has cool Pokemon. No, not not really like a legendary hunting game. Like the, like some of the others. Yeah, I love I love all the Bayonetta games. Cereza and the Lost Demon is 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 it's such a cool, such an interesting game. Interesting visuals, interesting controls. It's not e it's not too easy, not too difficult. You don't really have to know the plot of the main series games to enjoy Cereza and the Lost Demon. It tells its own little story, a simple story of a of a little girl adventuring with a new a, you know, learning about her new friend. Very cute, very cute and cool game. I just, I just think Bayonetta 3's popular opinion is the that is the opinion because people don't understand the ending. You realize why Black and White didn't get a remake? Cause it got two almost instantly. <laughs> it doesn't. It really doesn't need a remake. I don't think Black and White aged at all. I think I think it's perfectly fine. It feels still. It still feels modern enough. It doesn't need a remake. Feels like you are Bayonetta, but shiny hunting surrounded by a bunch of my rocket crows. Yeah, that's why I'm hunting in three games. I'm fighting many enemies at once. The forest, the cave, and Bianca. <laughs> Save the shiny. Two D Pokemon game on the Switch. Uh, BDS Pikachu. <laughs> It'd be cool if they did that. It'd be cool if they ported it all to the Switch, but I don't know. I don't know if they'll ever do. Maybe. I don't know how they would do the DS games with the two screens. Unless they like remastered it or something. But that would. I don't know. Perhaps, I guess I'm a little more like Bayonetta than I thought. <laughs> Are we allowed to say good and bad words? You can say like the F word and stuff. I don't know if YouTube will delete the message. Sometimes YouTube itself delete. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't show the message. As long as it's not anything offensive, like, you know, all fucking slurs and shit. <laughs> But don't worry, we're not we're not a kids channel. We're not kids central. We're not uh, for kids where we censor everything. I have given up on trying to censor myself. <laughs> if I censored myself, I wouldn't be able to play the games I play right now. A new remake in the style of fan games? Eh, I don't really like the fan games. I don't know. Something about the fan games always has this like unpolished look to them, to me. That tiny bastard in your current hunting is so damn dirty on violet. 
Wait, on Asha, what? <laughs> Maybe it's just cause like it's fan weight. <laughs> so I don't really like the look of it. It never feels that polished. Oh Joltik. That's fair. Joltik is so fucking small in that game. You can't you can barely see it. Am I counting the Pokemon black encounters? I feel like I'm not counting them. If you're someone that cares about people, the world, about those who get hurt by the financial decision, I urge you to boycott this game. Man, we need a full copy pasta of, of Elena Taylor's uh, boycott script. All four videos. We need the tran- I need the transcript. So the one with the cat and lady being against the bug. That's me with the Osha one. You shiny hunting ticks for shiny I mean what tips can I even give? It's really just to check and go back and just keep checking until it's shiny. There's really not much tips I can give, I don't think. If it works you get infinite subs. <laughs> we only just hit 900. <laughs> no but I, I mean what what there's really not much what tips can you even give in, in Legends Arceus? Don't stop! <laughs> That's the tip! <laughs> Don't stop hunting it! She says all of this as a saying, I know boycotting this game is a personal choice and those who won't, that's fine. But if you care- Yeah, exactly! That- When I saw that video for the first time, when she said that shit, that's when I was like, okay. Something's off about this video. There's something wrong with what she's saying. And then look how it turned out. There was something wrong with what she was saying. It was all a lie. You gained a sub, you already sub, but it's funny. <laughs> I was like, okay, so okay, you're on a guilt trip, people to boycott a game, and then the, and then the lie, and then the truth started to come out, and I'm like, okay, I knew this was fucking bullshit from the start, man. Elena, Elena, my queen, <laughs> my girl, what you doing? Welcome to heaven. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> you need to watch these four clips in your back home. I need to write the whole transcript. Oh, 
Otter what? What the hell? You know what? I'm going to write the director and ask him how much am I worth? And I asked my friend to write in Japanese, of course. I I definitely know 100% that the translation was correct. You know what? This is my theory, okay? I, I think I mentioned this a long time ago, but here's my theory, okay? I think that the email, whatever the hell the email was, about the amount of money she was asking for versus what they were giving her. I think that they read it wrong. That's my theory. Because... Sometimes in Japanese... Let's say like... Let's say like... Um, like it's, if it's a million... Or like one, let's say you have like 100,000 subscribers. They won't have all the zeros in the number. They would have some zeros and then like a symbol representing that it's 100,000. So it could be that they wrote like maybe one zero and then the symbol and she thought it was only one thousand. She, uh, her friend that translated the email for her could just be a fucking idiot. They don't know how to translate properly. Or translated the numbers wrong because in the way English and Japanese write numbers can be different. That's my theory. He started ugly laughing when she said, I know he read it because I got a reply. <laughs> I'm important. Some other thing she says, Sammy flying. <laughs> it's a very funny video. <laughs> what you talking about? We are talking about, um, so back when Bayonetta 3 was about to come out, the original voice actress for Bayonetta, her name is Helena Taylor. She does not voice um, Bayonetta in the third game because she was not happy with the amount she was being paid. The lollipops were real though back when Bayonetta 2 launched. Oh, that, that's sick. I really want to buy like, I know people make like the guns as props and stuff. I really want one. <laughs> Just to have it. She probably misread or in, uh, incorrectly translation, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if part of the email was translated wrongly and it led to this whole misunderstanding and she's an idiot. But yeah, basically, I don't know where, like the week, like the two weeks or something before Bayonetta 3 came out. Because when the trailer came out for Bayonetta 3, people were, sus su were suspecting that the voice had been changed because it sounded like her, but it also didn't sound like her. It kind of sounded like her. So people were like, did they change the voice actress? And they did. And, and the original voice actress, Helena Taylor, our queen, queen dumbass, um, came, out with, came out on Twitter with a four, video, with four videos um, talking about how we should boycott Bayonetta 3, that they only wanted to pay her like uh, $4,000. You. 4,000 US dollars So she so she's like the she's like the star of Bayonetta essentially is what she's saying and she should be paid more than four thousand dollars and Everybody was like, oh, okay. Yeah You should be paid more than four thousand dollars because you're voicing a whole game That makes sense that you want to be paid more four thousand dollars is not enough $4,000 for voice acting is more like a cameo, okay? That's so good. Yeah, $4,000 sounds good to us. <laughs> for voice acting, so for example, 
in Breath of the Wild, Revali, so one of the champions, one of the side characters, not as many lines, so he he was paid, his voice actor was $3,000. So for Bayonetta, the main character who's speaking throughout the whole game, $4,000 is very small. So people were agreeing with her at first, like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. You want to be paid more money, yeah, you should be paid more money. You're voicing a whole game as the main character for the last, like, eight years of your life. And then the truth started to come out. <laughs> because something was off about that video. She wanted people to boycott the game. She said she emailed the director asking, like, hey, like, can I be paid more? And she says in the video that he offered more money, but she was still unhappy with the amount. So she said, I don't want to be Bayonetta anymore. So they said, okay, bye, let's hire somebody else. <laughs> That's why she made this video, because she got replaced. And in the video, the other thing that was off is she started like bad talking the new voice actress. She didn't mention the new voice actress by name. But basically what she said is And to the new girl You're great, I'm happy for you, I hope you have a good life But you don't deserve to be Bayonetta I'm Bayonetta It's m I'm the original You, the new girl who got hired to be the voice actress of this character You don't deserve to sign any merch because I'm Bayonetta <laughs> Even though the bitch refused to be Bayonetta but okay. And then she and then and then her fourth clip she starts talking about the Bible and God and all that sh bullshit. <laughs> like as if people care. <laughs> um which director is Hideki Kamiya? How's the shiny hunting? It's going good! We got Haulucha. So now we've moved from Haulucha to Joltik. Lazarus. Yeah, she started talking about Lazarus, started calling the the corporation's fat cats and of course twitter was like okay we agree with the talent not the corporation but then a very very reliable well-known reliable journalist who has a very good reputation in journalism came out with the information from inside the company from two people from inside the company who are aware of the contract that she has to sign $4,000 is not the amount that was offered So she's saying they only want to pay me $4,000 for the whole game But the real amount was the original real amount was $10,000 for the whole game and when she asked them for more, they offered another additional $5,000. So she would have gotten $15,000 to voice Bayonetta in the third game. Which is like four to five times the amount of the original game that she was paid, by the way. Apparently, maybe. And, and $15,000 is... makes sense. Because, so, so the, the, the amount of time that it takes to record for Bayonetta 3, one recording session is four hours. So they, so they would go, so it takes, the total amount was 16 hours. So she would have to go in for like maybe one week, four days, record for four hours. She gets paid $15,000. Which is the right amount, especially for someone in the union. You, you, she's part of the union, and that's the basically what union voice actors would get that amount. So the four thousand dollars was a lie, basically, in her video. She was basically lying in her video, and the journalist came out with this information that what she was saying was a lie. It's not four thousand; it's ten thousand dollars. And she went on another tweet. She went on another tweet session, saying like, "Oh, the journalists are all part of the fucking fat cats." <laughs> and then when people asked her, "So, 
is the ten thousand dollars is a lie then from the journalist side and she said no it's true <laughs> they did offer me four thousand dollars bitch you didn't say that in your video where's the ten thousand dollars in your video bitch <laughs> Tell me about the $10,000 you lied in your video, girl! You didn't save $10,000, you said $4,000! $4,000 US dollars, you said! Where's that? Where the other $6,000 come from? And she said that the $10,000 original amount and the additional $5,000 is true. So girl, what you want? And then everybody went against her because she clearly lied in her video trying to avoid and also like talking shit about a new voice actress like what the fuck <laughs> so low IQ <laughs> That's basically so yeah we are we on this channel we like to make fun of the videos the four videos that she made because it sounds very funny because it, it always sound the videos always sounded off to me but now that the truth has come out is really funny i wish her all the best in the world but she has no right to sign mer any merchandise it is my voice <laughs> Girl, calm down. Just cause you voice a character don't mean you own the character. As soon as you said the beat said beats that came into the kitchen, you panic. Oh no. Oops. Sorry, I'm talking about Helena Taylor. 15k sounds very great for a whole week of recording five ish days for those amount of times. Yeah, and that's the that's the amount and, and union union voice actors they that's the amount they would get. Also, the other report was that she asked for two hundred thousand dollars, which is the amount Chris Pratt would get. Okay, not Bayonetta. <laughs> Chris Pratt in the Lego Movie, maybe yes, but like, but like not Bayonetta. And she's like, oh. Bayonetta earned this amount million dollars, but it, it wasn't it just you can literally google the amount and it's not true It was it's so funny Because you can literally google and fact check what she's saying and it's it wasn't true Don't know how long the stream will go on but see you folks have a good one though. Goodbye. I'm a creamy. We might end soon Maybe we'll see how we feel. We already got a shiny so I'm very happy 200k girl she's insane yeah she didn't deny or or you know agree or deny that amount but you know who's gonna believe her now
You didn't find the or whole original message written down? <laughs> Hell yeah! Huh? That's our Bible. This is our Bible. My, my Lazarus story. <laughs> I like how she goes on for so long about Lazarus, more than the Bayonetta thing. <laughs> More than more than the details of the transaction, she talks more about Jesus. <laughs> the fake transaction that she's talking about. I'm not afraid of a non-disclosure agreement. I can't even afford to run a car. What are they going to do? Take my clothes. Good luck to them. She says that. No break. What the <laughs> Don't remember saying that. Oh, it's even crazier than I thought. Bayonetta always stands up for those with less power and stands up for what is right. In doing this, you stand with her. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Did not think the Bayonetta series had stuff like that happening. Yeah, it was. It was. It's definitely one of those like you had to be there. It was. It was crazy to see how the opinion of the public completely flipped once the lie was exposed. Because literally, and it was especially at a time where it's like this was also before the the union strikes. It was. It. It, it, it was. You know. It, it's a time where it's like people. Or people hate corporations you don't want to side with the corporation or the big company you want to side with the the talents behind the screen of, of you know behind the voices or behind the, the characters so she took advantage of that and made this video for her made this video for this and everyone was on her side but once the facts came out, and once she, even she, with her own mouth, she basically confirmed that she lied in her video. The, the opinion completely flipped against her. It's crazy. And then the game, and, and, and if anything, her, her call for a boycott pushed the game sales to number one at the time. Literally, it went on, like, top of pre-order charts. In like France and like Europe, and that's just Europe. So her call for a boycott one didn't work because boycotts never work. Let's be real. 
and then like and then and then like not even like a week later maybe like a couple it took only a couple days for the journalist to find the information from the contractors about the contract and the and the amount so that's why my dear because in the video she also says that she got a friend to translate between her email to the director of Bayonetta to email back and forth because obviously one speaks English, one speaks Japanese. So my theory is that maybe they maybe the friend translated wrong or the amount was misunderstood in the email or something. That's my theory. That's my conspiracy theory. But yeah. Holy shit, she actually did say that. The, you check the clip she sent you, she says the thing about the clothes on the top right of the... <laughs> oh my. What they gonna do, take out? Yeah, at some point she starts rambling about some nonsense that I think I blacked out half of the video. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, and, and and to be honest, the new voice actress. So the new voice actress is Jennifer Hale. One, sorry, Helena Taylor. Jennifer Hale is so much more accomplished than you. And like in terms of Bayonetta's voice, uh, she doesn't sound that different. She doesn't sound that off. Like you can tell there's a difference. You can tell the voice actor is different, but she basically sounds like Bayonetta. And it's not like Helena Taylor was using her Bayonetta. Like when she voiced Bayonetta, it's, she's not using her real voice. She's make she's giving a character voice. So if the character sounds like that, what you gonna do about it? What's she gonna do? Complete make a new voice for Bayonetta? People would hate that. Jennifer Hale is like, is that is someone in Overwatch? One of the girls in Overwatch. And she's also Jean Grey in the new X-Men 97. The game came out. Nobody, nobody was busy boycotting anything. The game did fairly well, especially since Bayonetta 2 didn't do as well as they wanted it to. As it didn't do well on the Wii U. It did well on the Switch. But hopefully, they make a Bayonetta 4. That's my hope. Unfortunately, the director of Bayonetta did leave the company. He left the company to be his own thing now. So he's a freelancer now. Instead of being under the company name. So maybe they'll still have him as the director for the next Bayonetta game. Or we'll see. If, 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 if they do make a fourth one. I think they could still make the spin-offs because I think the spin-offs were amazing. Which is the Cereza and the Lost Demon. Cereza and the Lost Demon was awesome. And I I think they could do the story where she meets so Bayonetta has is is a witch in contract with a demon called Madam Butterfly. I think they could do like an origin story with the with the spin-off style. It ain't Bayonetta 2's fault. Yeah, it's not Bayonetta 2's fault. It's just the Wii U in general just didn't do well. That's the yeah, that's not. And like, Bayonetta. Bay, it's not like Bayonetta is like the number one series on the Nintendo Shop or anything, so. It's not Bayonetta's fault that it didn't do well on the Wii U. It's just the Wii U in general. Thankfully, it did well on the Switch, though. It basically doubled the amount of sales on the switch do you say madam where oh my madam but oh 
Madam Web, my favorite movie. We're hunting her right now! This Joltik is gonna be called Madam Web. No matter what the gender. Jennifer Hale voiced a lot of animated roles and such. Yeah, she's a... Jennifer Hale is a established voice actress. She's voiced a lot of stuff. Unlike Helena Taylor who's only voiced Bayonetta, basically. Which, like, nobody's gonna dog on her for... for voicing Bayonetta. She, she, you know, her... Bayonetta's voice is iconic. But... If anything's more iconic about Bayonetta is the way she moves. So is she saying that the motion capture actress for Bayonetta isn't Bayonetta? By saying just cause you're the voice you are Bayonetta? That makes no sense. You know? So her, her logic was off. Just by saying that she she's the only one that gets to call herself Bayonetta. This is a bullshit. Like, you voice a character. You didn't make Bayonetta. You just you were just a voice behind the face. Like a chill. Link is an iconic character and I don't see any of his voice actors claiming that they are Link. Plus Link has like five different voice actors depending on the game. <laughs> So like, you can't really claim a character if you didn't make them, just cause you voiced them. And plus, like, since Bayonetta 2, there's a Japanese dub. Are you saying the Japanese voice actress doesn't- is not Bayonetta? <laughs> like, what? I mean, it don't make sense to me. But Helena Taylor must have been freaking moist when the union strike started. <laughs> that was what she was looking for. She better not have worked during then. <laughs> she has no right to sign merchandise as Bayonetta any more than I have the right to sign as Ava Green, even though I was her parrot on the video game The Golden Compass. She's saying her other credentials. It's the parrot. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're, you're, you're the, you're, you're Evergreen's parrot. Cool. What about you, Jennifer Hill? What character are you? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm Ash from Overwatch. Or oh, Ashe from Overwatch. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Oh, Overwatch. I know Overwatch. What the hell? <laughs> Who's what parrot? <laughs> I don't I, I think I heard of the Golden Compass. I mean, are you trying? I was married in the Nativity play. <laughs> For God! One day this Osho World will shine, I swear. I swear on the Helena Taylor's name. This Osho World will shine.
The portrayal is hers and hers alone. They will probably do a spin-off with Jean. Don't buy that either. The desperation. <laughs> and look at what happened. They didn't make one. They thought about it. That's true that they did. They, they did think about. It. They wanted to. They want to make a spin-off with Jean and with Rodan. But uh, whether they'll do it or not, we'll see. I would. I would. I would be pretty interested in those spin-offs. If anything, she's making me want them want to play more. <laughs> A spin-off with Jean? That sounds sick as hell! Thanks, Helena, for the insider info! <laughs> oh, sounds like a plan that I would, <laughs> I would agree with. That would be nice. <laughs> hey, Helena, what did you mention about the Rodan spin-off too? I wanna play that. She's promoting the game. She's promoting that more than anything. I see the whole written out. Oh man, that's my uh, that's my Bible. I'm gonna read that to myself every night. Oh my god, it's left so long. <laughs> she, she talks so much shit. <laughs> what? There's more! It's not over. <laughs> Man, she just doesn't know how to stop yapping, dude. She basically pulled a Karen on the internet. Couldn't fit in one copy paste. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, she just recently had to divorce her husband, I think. <laughs> so, um. Sorry, girl! Hope you don't be a psycho. It's true what you said, the Lazarus speech is one third of the whole rant I tell you, she cares more about Jesus than the than the than the point of the video, which is to which is to quote quote unquote expose like the company's misdoings and and, and lack of payment. But they didn't lack any payment at all. My name Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Helena Taylor, I am the voice of Bayonetta and I would like to explain to you why I did not voice Bayonetta 3. Pause. The Bayonetta franchise has made approximately 450 million dollars that's not including merchandise. That's not true. You can Google it. It's not true. Not including merchandise. Bayonetta 1 only made at most 5 to 6 million dollars from game sales. If she's not including merch, where's she getting 450 million from? <laughs> where a shiny appears now. As an actor, I trained for a total of seven and a half years. Three years at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art with coach, with voice coach Barbara Burkery and four and a half years with the legendary Larry Moss in Los Angeles. And what did they think this was worth? 
What did they offer to pay me? The final offer to do the whole game as a buyout flat rate was 4,000 US dollars. Which is not true because when people said, wasn't it 10k? And she said, yeah, it was 10k and they added another 5k to it when I asked for more. <laughs> you finally get your wisdom to remove today? Oh, good luck. You train with those voice coaches. Cool. Yeah, she had to say her reputation first, apparently, I guess, because as you know, that's important. <laughs> This is an insult to me, the amount of time I took to work on my talent and everything I've given to this game and to the fans. Now, wait, no, I missed the paragraph. <laughs> um, I'm asking the fans to boycott this game and instead spend the money you could have spent on this game by donating it to charity. I didn't want the world. I didn't ask for too much. I was just asking for a decent, dignified living wage. What they did was legal, but it was immoral. <laughs> now, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, know that I am much a more of a lover than a fighter. And sometimes I think I'm very much not like Bayonetta at all. But I guess I'm a little more like Bayonetta than I thought. <laughs> you know that girl now that I'm hearing it again Helena girl what you thinking <laughs> exactly when you actually listen to the words she's saying <laughs> it doesn't make any sense I understand that boycotting this game is a personal choice and there are those that won't and that's fine but if you're someone that cares about people, who cares about the world around you, who cares about those who get hurt with these financial decisions, then I urge you to boycott this game. I decided to do it, to stand up in solidarity with people all over the world who do not get paid properly for their talents. Fat cats cream off the t <laughs> Oh, they cream! They cream off the top! <laughs> Fat cats cream off the top and leave us rotten, the rotten crumbs. You know, in England right now, there are nurses going to food banks to feed their children. What is the... What are the health in the show that the health workers got to do with it? You, bitch! Your voice actor! <laughs> Chill the hell out! Fat cat cream! <laughs> <laughs> this is not right. This is not acceptable. Yeah, the food banks! Nurses having to go to food banks is not acceptable. You're a voice actor. Chill out. <laughs> A nurse's job is not a, is way more important than yours, sorry. <laughs> like, they're saving lives here. It impacts mental health. Because of it, I suffered from depression and anxiety. I worried that I was going to be on the streets. That terrified me so much. That I was once. <laughs> I don't hear her. I don't hear Jennifer Hill talking about how little role she has. I'm not afraid of a non-disclosure agreement. I can't even afford to run a car. 
What are they going to do? Take my clothes? Good luck to them. She said that what girl? Honestly, as someone who's probably depressed and anxious, I hate it when people use that as a way to like sway an opinion. I hate when like those like YouTubers or like whoever whoever in the industry is like I have depression and anxiety, so you should feel this way about this situation that I have an opinion on. Like You think you're the only bitch with depression, bitch? Like, I hate it when people use mental health as a way to sway an opinion. Like, sure, it can affect an opinion. I go out of my way to not talk about my depression. And like, I'm not, I don't want to put that on other people, you know? That's just me though, I don't know. Like, I go out of my way to not talk about it and not use it as a way to like, Okay, where am I? I'm lost. Oh. Bayonetta always stands up for those with less power and stands up for what is right. In doing this, you stand with her. <laughs> for those of you who are interested, I'd like to go in a little more detail about the back and forth that I will definitely tell 100% facts. The first thing is that I was required to audition again because sometimes voice just change with time. So I auditioned for the role and obviously passed with flying colors. Obviously! <laughs> then they then sent me an insulting offer. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to write to the Hideki Kamiya. I'm going to write to him and ask him for what I'm worth. Obviously, pass with flying colors. The, the confidence, though. So I got a friend who has been in business in Japan to write in Japanese to him. I know he read it because I got a reply. I got a reply saying that he values greatly my contribution to the game and that the fans really want me to voice it over. And the memory of meeting me as Bayonetta is a memory I hold dear. So I thought, great, thank God. Hey, don't use the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> hey, aren't you a freaking Christian? Where's your faith? How dare you! <laughs> You're supposed to say thank gosh, Helena. <laughs> Not thank God. <laughs> Blasphemy! You said it exactly like her because I got a reply. Is that, I, I feel like I remember <laughs> parts of it. I watched it so many times, it's so funny. <laughs> this that is when they offered me four thousand US dollars. You know, Platinum had the cheek to say I was busy, that they couldn't make it work with Miss Taylor's schedule. Well, I had nothing but time. I mean, what did you expect them to say? Hey, we, hey, sorry, friends. Helena is not gonna voice the game because she didn't like the money that we were giving her. <laughs> the ten thousand dollars that we were gonna give her, she didn't want it. The fifteen thousand, sorry. The fifteen thousand US dollars. They now have a new girl voicing her over. Miss Taylor's schedule couldn't make it work. 
Yeah, they they made an announcement about it because people were asking a, a lot of people were asking about the voice, and the reason they gave was due to scheduling issues, which is when she made this, and then because of that she made this video. Which fair? Technically, they were lying about the scheduling issues, but you know what you expect them to say? That, hey, Miss Helena Taylor doesn't want the money that we're giving her, so too bad. She's not the voice. What, what the hell? They now have a new girl voicing her over. And I love actors. I wish her all the joy in the world. I wish her all the jobs, but she has no right to say she is the voice of Bayonetta. She has no right to sign merchandise as Bayonetta, any more than I have the right to sign as Ava Green, even though I was her parrot on the video game Golden Compass. Yeah, I heard, I heard the word parrot and I was like, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> that portrayal is hers and hers alone. And they'll probably do a spin-off of Jean. Don't buy that either. Ah, a parrot! I wonder how she sounded like as a parrot. Caca! <laughs> so to Kamiya, president of Nintendo, and all the other fat cats around the world, I would like to quote to you from the greatest moral teacher who ever lived, Jesus Christ. <laughs> from his parable of Lazarus and the rich man. Just pretend there's a toilet wall on behind or the kitchen or something. Lazarus was a poor beggar with sores all over his body and he lived outside of the house of a rich man who banqueted and feasted every day and wore purple. Which is why she's wearing purple in the video! <laughs> Greatest moral teacher who ever lived, Jesus Christ. The Lord Himself. Lazarus hoped for even a scrap of the rich man's table, which he never gave Lazarus. Only the dogs pity him and licked his sores. Lazarus died and the angels took him straight to heaven, to the bosom of Abraham. The bosom of Abraham? <laughs> like his ass? What? Meanwhile, the rich man went to hell. <laughs> she talked about one thing because for this video. <laughs> <laughs> the rich man went to hell, go to hell, she said, and suffered torment. In his torment, he cried out to Abraham, Abraham, please save me, take me up to heaven, to which Abraham said, You had joy in, the, in life, now this is set for eternity. Why she know the script better than the Bayonetta script? Just kidding. So he said, Please tell my brothers who are living like I was. Send them a message so they can repent. To which Abraham said, We've sent you Moses and the prophets. Ah, oh, but if you send Lazarus, if a man comes back from the dead, they will listen to him. To which Abraham replied, If we did not listen to Moses and the prophets, it will be unlikely you will listen to a man who has risen from the dead. <laughs> the music is perfect. <laughs> I would like to thank you. Oh, she suddenly ends the story? <laughs> I would like to thank you, the fans, who have followed me on Twitter. 
Not that like it's bothered you through your career. Commented kindly on and liked my work. Bless you. I wish you all the joy and luck in the world. It's the only phrase she knows. <laughs> whoa, 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 Elena Taylor, yeah. My queen. My one and only queen. Bianca, don't gonna go proud. Wish you all the joy in the world. That should be my new subscriber sound. Instead of the vine boom, it should be like, Thank you for subscribing. I wish you all the joy in the world. Helena Taylor, all that shit and Osha Watch still doesn't want to shine. That's crazy. People will be like, is that Bayonet? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. I am not Bayonetta. Only Helena Taylor. Me can be Bayonetta. <laughs> Only I, me, and myself. A bayonetta. Tessa, over here! No, it's me, the parrot from Ava Green in the Golden Compass. <laughs> and an angel now in the in the story of the nativity. I can't believe she would blaspheme by saying thank god <laughs> in the same video as talking about Lazarus. <laughs> it's thank god, Shalina. <laughs> so I remember when I was in second, when I first joined secondary school, this class, the one of my classmates, um, you know, discovered that we were both Catholic and I said, oh my god, once and he's like, oh, what'd you say? And I'm like, what? Oh my god, <laughs> I don't give a shit. He was shook. <laughs> that way we dare say the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> I'm like, girl. Just we priest, just because we Catholic, don't make you think I gave a shit. She made history for certain, yep, she she changed Bayonetta forever. By creating the funniest you had to be there moments in Bayonetta history. Oh my god, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. These shoes roll. These shoes suck. These shoes roll. These shoes suck. Twenty on Jaltic.
Uh, when should we end? How many? How long should I go for? Mm, we can. Let's get to two thousand on the sword and shield. Two thousand for Glenwood. Yeah, let's get to two thousand. Two thousand. All the fat cats. Patty cake. Patty cake. With no hands. No, not my music. Yeah, we'll have some chill music. Man, Joltic Shiny is so good in Gen 5. Galvantulas is not as good, but it's still good. It's still better than the 3D shiny color. Joltix is so bright in, in Gen 5. I mean, Madam Web. Dakota Johnson. We're gonna name her Dakota. Dakota Johnson. So we're gonna name this uh, spider. I don't think Dakota Johnson will fit. Maybe we'll put it just Dakota. favorite movie. Takes the paper drawing. What am I supposed to fold with this? I can't- I will do with this. I can't even fold it. Oh, when she takes it from the kid. <laughs> Girl, do you know how to interact with other humans? You're not an alien. <laughs> Go! What kind of EMT is this? Doesn't know how to interact with children. <laughs> this, this role was definitely out of her comfort zone. <laughs> yeah. She does not suit a superhero at all. <laughs> it's so funny. I hate helping people is an EMT. Let me just kill the villain with my Pepsi logo real quick. My god, the fireworks make me paralyzed from my legs. Tynamo shiny look like? Tynamo I think is only 5% in this cave, thank thankfully. It's only 5% so I don't think we'll get a shiny one by accident or anything. It's a freeze. But just in case I miss the sparkles, what, what's, the, what's the shiny in gen 5? Like the middle becomes orange maybe? Cause the I don't think the body changes too much. Oh, 
lighter blue instead of the yellow or the body does the line in the middle change color at all or is it just still yellow yellow line does indeed become orange okay just in case I believe it's a 5% at least I think I do think that I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the most common thing is jolting at 30% Baldos maybe 10% or something just in case my favorite ace attorney character they should have one where's the just in case Mr. Just in case we already have dead man. sparkles <laughs> Osha what now's your last chance today Last chance to shine, Larry Butts. If something smells, it's always the butts. I need to find something to hunt off screen too. Hmm. I mean, I could start my lit and hunt. Maybe I'll start that. I need an encounter hunt though. I mean, I could just do this jolting off screen too. <laughs> I'll find something. I don't want to do the litten hunt by its by itself. Dahlia Hawthorne, the 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 hoe herself, the crazy lady. See who's at fault? Terry Falls, who is a freaking basically a pedo. <laughs> Or is it Dahlia Hawthorne's fault for taking advantage of his pedophileness <laughs> and using him to steal and 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 take uh to to basically kill himself uh for the sake of her? <laughs> which is which is the worst evil? Which is worse? Cause she did take advantage of him, but she was also 14 years old and he was like 32 or some shit or 22 or something <laughs> Which is crazy But she's also a sociopath, right? He was a simp basically he simped for her so he simped for her so hard that he he would take his own life for her so that her crimes wouldn't be exposed her scheme wouldn't be exposed sure, Terry should have known better but yeah it takes two Thank you. 
Like the Terry Terry Falls is the only time where I'm like, okay, Dahlia is not a hundred percent at fault, but also she she was smart enough to <laughs> take advantage of the group group being of him being a group. <laughs> Which is kinda crazy. Also, next time we see Yakuza 7, Ichiban will be dancing when he fights. Because I've made him a breakdancer now. He is now a breakdancer. He is no longer a hero with a bat. He's now just gonna breakdance on the enemies and do the warp <laughs> on, on, the, on the enemies. Oh yeah, Ichiban! Man, we need to hunt and we need to just keep hunting in sword and shield from now on. I want to hunt more peko. I don't have a shiny more peko. I really want the fossils. I want naked, even just naked. I don't have. I want to hunt. I want to do strong spawns again. Man, I miss sword and shield. A oh, fuck, fuck skull and rider. Just kidding. <laughs> We're just gonna keep hunting in sword and shield for now. <laughs> for now. I miss hunting in this game. I want to do the strong spawn so bad. Certified free. Seven days a week. Airy cycle. Yes. Uh, so I did try the Night Queen one, which puts Airy in a, like a like a very sexy outfit. But unfortunately, the moves kind of are kind of boring. So we'll just keep her as a Tekken ninja. She's gonna wear her suit. I wish she had a sexier outfit, but alas, she is not a not the type to dress sexy, I guess. I'm gonna try and get the better weapon for Saiko though. I need one more dragonfly, one more silver dragonfly, and that's it. <gasps> Airy will always serve, yep. She's forever a ninja. I wish she had a ninja outfit. I thought she all serves all day all night. Oh! Oh yeah! You coming home now? Be right back you all right.
Wish him what? Wish him what? Only, only like 16 more encounters. What's your what? Now's your chance. Now's your chance to shine. You're in your room now, you're sleeping in something more comfortable. Oh, comfortable. Oh, you're gonna play Count of Hearts? I'm almost done. Only 15 more encounters left on the on the Glimwood the Glimwood Tangel You want to shut the dragon out oh, That's right I haven't changed my outfit since I last played Sword and Shield <laughs> I'm still in still in my same outfit Osha what? No kind of hearts today. Ariel, Triton, Jack, and Isabel had to wait a little longer. Oh my. Well, they're all near the ocean. I can I can I I know what they, I know what they're planning. They're getting maze. They're getting maze. We're all the boys together. See you on your flat screen monitor in 720 at 60 FPS. <laughs> Whoa, I'm on TV, ma'am. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, nine more encounters. I think we can do maybe this and one more Osha Watt check, probably. No, Osha Watt. That was your chance. We can do maybe one or two more Osha Wards, maybe. Probably one. Because the encounters are very fast. We heard Helena talk. Oh, so Osha what now's your chance? That's right. Osha what? Are you trying to boycott the Osha what? Osha what? If you shine, I wish you all the joy in the world. Go. 
Come on. Oh no, you've got it in you. Don't you believe in the Lord? The greatest moral teacher of all. We can do one more. Oh, shall we check? Don't be a fat cat creaming. Please don't cream. Not on my fat cat. Wait, what? My posata. The last Osha watch check. Damn it! Oh, another day, another shiny, not or shiny Osha watch. Okay, we'll just do one more. That's our last Joltic check as well. I'll probably record Joltic off screen too. Uh, while I hunt other things, maybe. Or maybe just couldn't do this hunt off screen if I have time. Alright, last check. Number 2000 in the Glimwood Tangle. It was not shiny. But it's okay. There's always next time. And we still got a shiny today. We got How Lucha super fast. So, um, I'll timestamp it later. But thank you for watching this stream. I hope you all enjoyed this stream. Um, next time we'll come back with Ichiban and maybe maybe we'll do an art stream soon perhaps um, I'm trying to edit the Lake Trio shiny reaction for this weekend so maybe look out for that hopefully I can finish editing it um, I think I'll have time to edit it today and tomorrow because I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow today later tomorrow whatever it <laughs> whatever it is I don't think I'll be streaming so I might have time to edit it then. But yeah, congrats on Bianca Dong. Thank you. I'm gonna go play that game and play until I feel I uh, our next team member. I don't still not sure what to get, but we will we'll play until we we get to our next team member. But for now, goodbye. The Lake Tree of Anime. Yes, One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto. And the Wow! Wow! Happy day. I am Bayonetta. <laughs>